All right, here we go. All right, cool. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Thanks for being here on this uh, another Icarus beta weekend stream. So I thought we'd start off. Um, I played for about an hour last night. And um, right now at the time of this recording or the stream, I guess, if you guys are watching this uh, during a recording afterwards, then uh, beta weekend six, it is Saturday night right now. Let's just jump right into it and play. Now, they have changed a few things. Uh, we are level 6. Like I said, I played for about an hour. Um, somewhere, remove from prospects, create a character. If we create a new character, I could show you guys. I don't know if we can see it from here. Resume prospect. Yeah. No, they changed, like, the whole, um, the, the whole menu. Like, the whole start of the game. Pretty cool. It used to be you get kind of just drop in. You have uh, one prospect that you can play. And it's uh, the one for that beta weekend. Now, it kind of has this weird, like, tiered system, which is kind of cool. So, I picked one. Sorry, cough edit. I'm still coughing, you guys. Uh, my voice is doing a lot better. But I picked one, and we're just going to jump right into it. And I don't know if we're going to actually finish this one on the stream or not. So, let's go ahead and resume this, and I'll show you guys what I've been uh, what I've been working on. I'm really excited for this game to come out. Um, I'm really curious to see also what they are going to do with it. Like how they're going to do the prospects, how they're going to do all the different missions and everything after they uh, officially release the game. The end of this month or the beginning of December. Um, originally it was they were releasing this um, Icarus on November 20th, I believe. But if we look at the roadmap, it says... Um, <clears throat> It says something like the community event is going to be on the 20th, like the 20th through the 24th, I think. So I don't know if that means they're going live with it or if uh, they're waiting till the beginning of December. But anyway, I can't wait to see what all they change. All right, here we go. Let's just jump right into it. Preparing geometry. And I did start with a little, um, oh, the fire's lit. We should probably be careful not to step in it. Yeah, I started with this little wooden um, house. I had thatch um, at first, but I went ahead and upgraded it already. And in, in this beta weekend, we did start fresh. Our points started over. So if we tab... Yeah, we're only level 6. We started back at a level 0, and all of the tech tree and everything, all the points reset. Everything reset. So this is what I have right now. I got just the basics. Campfire. Uh, the fire whacker, so we can whack those pesky fires. The bow and arrow. And then wood. So the next order of business is to get the level 10 to get into the, the tier 2 stuff. And then we need to get the oxide dissolver online so we get oxygen. A uh, crafting bench. And then the skinning bench is going to be huge because that's going to allow us to uh, throw our animals on the skinning bench and get a lot more skin and, and hide and leather and all that kind of stuff. So let's check out the map real quick. I wanted to wait and do this with you guys. The objective isn't showing on the map anymore and they did update the map it's really cool now it shows kind of a proximity like a reveal on the map everywhere we've been but on the left hand side collect the radar i did that off camera it was just in this box right here we landed uh right there there's our pod right there we landed and then came down here grabbed the scanner it's now in my slot g so i think we have to put that down oh 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 That was, that was ridiculous. Um, we have to put this scanner down in these circles. Now, there's one really close to us, just north of us. There's one way down here. 
and there's one up here. And if we look at our tasks, our mission on the left-hand side, we have scan zone one, travel to scan zone, scan zone two, and then scan zone three. So I think maybe that may be the end of this little excursion. So definitely something that we can probably knock out tonight. Let's go ahead and get going. So as per usual, whenever we start a new survival game, uh, it's the name of the game is just collecting all the resources. And uh, I don't know, there's something about this game, like this is a big part of the game. So it's kind of harder for me to do videos on this. Um, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a, to me it just screams live stream. Because so much of the game is this. And I feel like if I was doing a YouTube video on this, it might be kind of boring. But live streaming, it's more of like, <clears throat> excuse me, it's more of like a hangout. And let's uh, let's hang out and do the stuff that, you know, we do in the game. So we need to get a bunch of oxide together because I think we're running a little low. 32. We can stack to 50 in our inventory right there. So go ahead and get some of this online. Okay. Trying to check the game sound. I think it sounds good. There we go. Grab some berries. Now, kind of like Valheim, if you guys are familiar with it, this game does give us a buff for stacking nutrients. And also, if you crouch while shooting, bam, you get a stealth attack. So it's two and a half times... It says two and a half times, I guess. I'm assuming it's two and a half times uh, damage. Let's see, eight. We definitely need to find a cave. We need to find um, some iron. <clears throat> Dude, my, vo my voice. My kingdom for my voice. It sounds like I'm like super nervous and kind of like, <laughs> kind of like uh, my voice is wavering. No, I'm just, I'm trying to hold back a cough. So, let's see. Food's doing really good. We also need to get a water skin online. We ha we should have enough leather for that. Or hide. Yeah, we have nothing. I built three storage chests. Let's go ahead and come in here to crafting real quick. Did I even... Let's see. Uh, level 6. So, really, yeah, we need to keep, keep leveling up. Because I think the water... It's a tier something. Tier 1, I think. Um, somewhere around here. I know I'm missing it. Is it really tier two? Yeah. Water skin, tier two, and also the oxygen bladder. So, of course the sun's going down. My gosh, we just started streaming and the sun's going down. So, I got this. I got a torch. And then last night when I was playing this, uh, unbeknownst to me, I was going around gathering this. I just kind of spam the F button to pick up everything to try to get as much experience points as possible while I'm running around. But unbeknownst to me, I lit the forest on fire. That's why there's no trees <laughs> right here. It went up in a blaze. All right. And, and then we also have to be careful as well because there are wolves right now. Do you guys hear that? Dude, look at that planet. I love that planet. There's just something about it. Like, even in Space Engineers, right? You look up at the sky, you can see the different planets. So cool. The thing is, in Space Engineers, you can, like, build a spaceship to fly up to them. And a Star Citizen as well. Dude. Oh, that's my plot. That's my pod. I thought there was, like, red eyes over there staring at me. I was about to log out. All right, so, uh... I guess the name of the game right now is just getting as much XP as possible. It's uh, 300 XP per felled tree and then 100 XP per um, log that we pick up. And I swear the deer in this game, they sound like bear and wolves. So I'm always a little, a little scared. <clears throat> What's up, John? Yeah, my voice is getting... It, it is getting better and it's really funny. It, it sounds really good until I record a video. <laughs> Or I go live, and it's like I'm holding back a cough, but overall, I'm getting a lot better, so... Yeah, I'm. It, it's, it's coming along. It's just one of those pesky little lingering coughs. There we go. Uh, right there. So the order of, the biz order of business here, I think I've said that like 12 times now. I want to get here to this scan zone. I want to knock out these three scan zones. 
Um, we are definitely going to need to get some... I mean, right now we need light for sure. But we need to get leveled up so we can get some more XP. We can learn some more things. Because I don't want to go in there prepared. I don't want to go in there with just like the normal bow. I don't want to go in there with a stone axe and stone pick. Even though we already have the scanner. Uh, in case you missed it. When we dropped here, we dropped in this pod. And then that dropped us down to a... Uh, the first task was this box was already here. And uh, it inside the box. Oh, there's two of them. Two radars. Oh, that makes sense because we have three spots. We have three radars. Okay. All right. There was not two of them in there last night when I played. There was just one. And it's currently on my person. So uh, we're going to go scan those areas and see what we can't discover there. And I don't know if that's the end of this quest. Or uh, excursion, and then we can like go do another one because this weekend it's a little bit different. Previously on um, the beta weekends, they had it to where you just did like you could only land once and do one thing, or you know what whatever tasks they had on that one uh, that one mission. This time it looks like Dude, I think I'm hearing stuff out there. This time it looks like we can do multiple missions, kind of. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna find out. And actually, you know what? What am I even doing? Dude. Come on, goodish gamer. Can't wait for the day for you to become the good gamer. Let's go sleep because um, <laughs> we can make it daytime. I don't even know what I'm doing over here. I'm just talking. So let's go ahead and light our campfire because we need that lit to be able to sleep. Put our torch away because 100% I will end up uh, burning my place down. There's something out there. Carbon, what's up? How's it going? You can only sleep between 6 p.m. and... Yeah, so... We did it. Perfect. We're actually really good gamers now. I think we just advanced from goodish to good. Let's go ahead and deactivate this to save some of our wood. We can go ahead and fill this up right there. Perfect. Um, Yeah, so I want to be prepared. I want to get really prepared. I want to get some... Uh, I want to get a water skin online. I want to get the... Oxide Dissolver, I think, is what it is. And we want to get that online. Let's go ahead and drop off some of this stuff. Ooh, little... What? Uh, are you guys seeing this? What in the world? How did this guy get in my... My base? A level 29 deer. Dude, he slept with me last night. Okay, how many arrows does it take to get to the center of a level 29 deer? <laughs> you can... Carbon, you've been binge watching my Star Citizen ship tours. I guess that's a good thing. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying them. We just die, dude. Thank you. This is where the oh no 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 I will burn my place down. This is where uh it really comes in handy to have the skimming skinning bench. He <laughs> watched me sleep. Yeah, he did, John. <laughs> I uh I didn't have my torch on when I went in there. Um. Because I didn't, you know, I'm notorious for burning down any structure when I walk in with the torch. So I always turn it off. And I guess he was, like, hiding out in a dark corner over there just waiting for me to come in. He's like, I'm going to watch the goodest gamer sleep. <laughs> and he did. They were amazing. Thank you, Carbon. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I'm, I'm having so much fun with them. Um, Yeah. It, it's just so much fun. Let's go ahead and do this. Get some meat online. So right now we're just working on leveling up. It is a very slow process. If you guys are, aren't familiar with uh, Icarus. Oh, that's silica. We don't need that just yet. That's just going to clutter our inventory. Uh, Icarus, right now, it's probably my favorite survival game. Um, there's just something about it. It's super relaxing until it's not. But the grind is real. My gosh. Like, that's why it's better for me to live stream it. Because <laughs> if I'm doing a, a video on it, it takes so long. I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go beat some rocks real quick and I'll be right back. And it's like an hour in real life just for one little cut. <clears throat> so I just figured it's better to live stream. It, it's more fun anyway. I like hanging out with you guys. I want to get a, uh, another Star Citizen live stream going on too. But I'm kind of waiting for 315 to officially drop because... Every time I log in to Star Citizen right now, it starts me over. That's why you watch me play it. <laughs> well, I appreciate you being here. Alright, we're going to see if we can't get these... Uh... Dude, I clipped into something. I couldn't back up. There's an invisible rock right here. 
Yeah, I can't walk through this. Interesting. All right. I'm going to see if we can't get these uh, scans today. And then I'm, I'm really curious to see if uh, there's anything beyond that. If we can do another mission. I guess we'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's go ahead and stack our food. I think I said earlier, um, like Valheim, we can stack our food and it gives us a buff. You can see across the bottom left there are our plus. Our health points, they uh, boosted up. Sun's coming out. What a beautiful day. Wow. And that's, that planet, it just blows me away every time I look at it. Alright, so um, we are almost to level 7. <laughs> and uh, this is the name of the game. The last live stream, I actually got into uh, stone buildings, which is really cool. Just like to t uh, take a sec to tell you how absolutely awesome you are. Oh, thank you so much. I enjoyed your Star Citizen video so much. Uh, me and my former English teacher were quite literally... <laughs> your videos oh thank you so much i appreciate it you're amazing thanks for being here even though it's not star citizen i appreciate you being here this sometimes in icarus it does it does this it'll show you like the icon clearly there's stone there but it won't let me get it okay all right sorry cough at it all right we need to uh repair this and it also, um, we landed in a different place I haven't seen before. Greg Miller, new subscriber. Yeah, I've, see, I've, been, I've been seeing you in the uh, comments today. Welcome. Doing great, my dude. I'm glad to hear it, and thank you. Um, we're starting in a different location. Now, I don't know if each of these maps are the same. Hmm... I know that the uh, developer said that this map is hand authored, or at least the the first map that we uh, that we did is hand authored. It's not procedurally generated, which I actually really like. Now that we're in beta weekend six, I don't know what all has changed. You know, like um, I know there's different bodies of water. Last stream we just happened to land and spawn right on the body of water that had the cave in it. The underwater cave where we could go and get iron and everything but um i haven't ventured out i mean you can see this is all this is as far as i've ventured out i haven't ventured out to see if there's any caves around here so we definitely need to get in some iron i keep talking about everything we need to do i need to just like just commit <laughs> i love the grind of doing this but man sometimes it's just like i wish i could wish i could just kind of scoot your head a little bit okay um we need to Free up some of our inventory space. Craft this. I think we can only do one. Yeah. I just have this, uh... All of my resources right here for when we build. If we're going to build. I mean, if all we have to do is scan three things. I don't know if we're actually going to get into, like, a full, um... Uh, stone build. We can do one of these, too. This time or not. And I've... Only experienced a wind storm so far. So that's just gonna tell me that just tells me that uh, something terrible you guys see that wolf out there? Yeah, see there's a wolf there already. And actually, full disclosure, I already killed a wolf on night one. Um let's just grab all this stuff. <clears throat> I haven't seen a bear yet. I could have sworn I heard one, but the wolves are howling like crazy around here. So, um, yeah, we got the spear online. Not a big deal. We got the bow, but I want to make, I want to get into the longbow. So, really, really, really want to, we're going to get it here in just a second. Oh, actually, no, we're not. Because we don't just need tech points. We need required level 10. We need this crafting bench. Like, more than anything, we need it. Uh, I've been wondering, what are your computer specs? Um, my computer specs, I have them down in the uh, description, but I'm running a Intel i9. I think it's a 10900K. It's a 10-core, 20-thread processor. I'm running 32 gigs of RAM and an RTX 3070. I think it's a... I think it's an 8 gig. So, pretty good computer. Uh, I really wanted to go with the 3080. But uh, when I got the computer, there's such a shortage. I think there still is. There still is actually on the GPUs. I just went ahead and went with the 3070, and it still took me five weeks to get the build because I went through uh, I buy power. So it's a pre-built. It's my very first pre-build ever. Usually I build my own, 
but I couldn't get my hands on any graphics cards. So I was like, let's just let's just get a pre-built and see what happens. And um I was a little skeptical at first. I was a little concerned it was gonna be like something broken in it, but uh no, it's been a seriously legit little computer, so uh let's see. Let's go ahead and craft one of these. So yeah, it's it's beefy-ish. Dude, I'm going for a 3090. Yeah, I mean, definitely. If you can hold out for it, hold out for it. I was playing through the Scum series, and uh, New Egg Shuffle is the way to go. What's that, Greg? Is that where, like, you get notifications as soon as something, like, comes available? I think I heard about that. Yeah, I was playing through the Scum series, and Scum is a pretty demanding game. It's not, like, fully optimized right now, and uh, I was playing it on my old computer, which is an i7. Uh, third gen is a 3770K. And it was like a 1660 Ti was my graphics card, and it was hurting, so I went ahead and just pulled the trigger and got this one. Gaming laptops are a better value. Uh, not because... Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can get some awesome gaming laptops nowadays. I was blown away by what by you can get. You can get, like, 3070s in a laptop. And my brother did the same. Uh, he got himself an AMD. Yeah, I, I almost went with AMD. I've always done Intel. I'm not, like, one of these, like... I only do AMD, I only do Intel. It's just always kind of what's been available to me. But the AMD builds are awesome. The 5900X processor and a 3080. He did have some issues though, but it's all fixed now. Um, with It was a pre-built, right? It's a raffle for a chance to buy at market value. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great idea. And is that a is that new egg exclusive? I think I remember reading about that. Yeah, I was getting to. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 sir, no, sir. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying to do a live stream here, bro. Yeah, it is okay. Um, let's see. I was gonna say something. Oh, my knife broke. Cough at it. Um, yeah, I was saying something. Something about um, needing a new computer quick. So I went with pre-built. Oh, I know what I was saying. Uh, doing doing the editing videos and everything. Because I very I started this channel. My very first videos on this channel <laughs> was Call of Duty Black Ops Four, and they are terrible, you guys. They're still on the channel. The audio was terrible. I had a lapel microphone because I was doing some screen recording through... It wasn't even Elgato. It was like through some weird capture card on the PS4. And uh, I was editing the videos through... I, I can't remember. Some, re some editing software. And then I upgraded <clears throat> to... Uh, let's see. Oh, I can't make it. I upgraded to doing like computer stuff. And then quickly learned that um, the... My computer wasn't, like, up to par on a bunch of stuff. And then editing on an old 3770K, even though it was 32 gigs of RAM, and it was a good motherboard. Everything was just really old. It took forever. It would take me, like, four hours to render a 30-minute video on that thing. Just terrible. So it was time to upgrade. Love the positivity, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. It's always better to be positive, in my opinion. Uh, the only way to update... I see, the only way to update uh, was through a disc. Oh, was it driver related? So we had a friend download it, a DVD drive, a USB. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's always something. Like, uh, my Windows wasn't activated when I got it. Not a huge deal. You can go in through the, um, what is it? The, the, uh, not regex, re regular expressions. I'm talking programmer now. Uh, something, I can't remember what it's called right now. You can go in through the system and, uh, there's a wolf right there, you guys. I'm encumbered. Dude, they're out. They're out and well today, aren't they? Goodness gracious, dude. Uh, that's probably just a frog. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen any frogs. That might be kind of funny if they had, like, little frogs and insects and that kind of stuff. They don't have any insects. I know that they're going to come out with uh, a new creature. Reg edit. That's what I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. Reg edit. Perfect. There we go. 
Yeah, my background is uh, help desk. I started with help desk. I got my uh, A plus certification back in the day. Started off doing help desk stuff and things. So uh, a little bit versed in that. It's been so long though since I've done that, and now I uh, I build websites and do a bunch of cool stuff. Let's see, you do that. This sticks, dude. I can repair everything. So we can't repair a torch. I guess fair enough, right? JM, your brother Josh is my brother-in-law. He was talking about your channel, so I'm new. Dude, what's up? What's going on, man? Josh is dude, he's awesome. I love my brother, obviously. Software engineer? Uh no, I'm just doing a uh, websites. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. I work for a uh, digital marketing agency in Dallas. <clears throat> That's my day job. I sit there in a uh, Troubleshoot, write code, come up with solutions, and then at the end of the day, I come home from work, be with my fam, put my daughter down for bed, and then I get to play with you guys. So, I always like pretty much every part of my day. Sometimes I feel kind of bad, though, because like at the end of the day, sometimes I feel like I'm giving you guys the worst of me. Because <laughs> I'm like, depending on my work day, I'll just be drained, you know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the work day, it's like sit down. And, uh, try to think of things to say during a video. <laughs> it's not that easy. <clears throat> oh, Mary's brother. Okay, awesome. Well, welcome. Dude. Okay. Blockchain engineer? Oh, man. So, you're a genius then. That comment just made my head hurt. Look at this guy. What in the world? Nope. Oh, man oh man one thing I learned uh, like when I was going to uh, high school student awesome when I was going to like taking courses and everything to become a uh, web developer um, I was doing like everything just kind of old school you know like text editor and just creating the document and all that kind of stuff and just kind of doing the everything just through the text editor and then like all these crazy uh, build systems came out, JavaScript libraries, it gets so confusing. So I learned pretty quickly that doing it professionally, I was under the impression I was going to be like coding my little heart out in a cubicle somewhere with like a hoodie on and drinking Red Bulls all day. That's <laughs> that's not what it is. It's uh, especially working for an agency. It's how can you fix this problem the fastest? So saying that, we kind of moved over to a lot of these... Uh, um, I, I do some uh, custom Shopify stuff now. We moved over to a bunch of these page builders. And um, I still have to get in there and kind of rewrite some of the code to get the page builders to do what I want them to do. But it's a lot less coding than I thought it was going to be. And it's okay. It's okay. I still do some coding um, for like personal projects and everything. But the majority of the time, I'm sitting there just kind of troubleshooting. Like, why doesn't this copy-pasted code work? <laughs> Day in the life of the developer. <coughs> oh man, Joomla, yeah, a little Joomla. Uh, some Cake PHP, um, a lot of PHP, very little Python. Uh, I started getting into some, uh, like Pythons for dashboards and that kind of stuff. So, but I don't know. We haven't done that professionally. When my daughter was... I thought I heard a wolf. Oh my gosh. When my daughter was first born, I uh, created a little app that uh, we could track what she was eating. And we, it was just a little form that we could fill out. And I tied it into uh, Google uh, Google's Firebase database. That was pretty cool. So we could always look and see like when her last diaper was and when the last feeding was. And this is like, this is why you guys tuned into this stream. <laughs> Oh man, Stack Overflow? Yeah, dude. Tell me about it. And I should I should be more active on there because I can uh I could answer questions on there and actually level up. But usually I'll, I'll go there and I'm like, ah, that's what I'm looking for. The hardest part about programming 
and building websites and everything is knowing what to search for. As soon as you know what to search for, then you can pretty much find what you're looking for. It's just interesting how I thought it was... It, it's so different than I thought it was going to be. There we go. Are we... We're... Oh, dude, we're, we've been talking a lot. We're almost all the way through level 7. Uh, who did you say you purchased your pre-built pre phone? Ryan, I got it through, uh, I buy power. There's a bunch of different ones out there. There's cyber power. I mean, there, there's a whole bunch of different ones out there. Um, I buy power. I can't remember exactly why. I did a lot of research on it before. And I think it was, uh, one of Linus Tech Tips videos that ended up, uh, me pulling the trigger. Web development makes you Google master. It sure does. Did you guys know that there's, like, special ways you can search Google? I had no idea. Until I became a developer. You can actually, like, put query strings inside of the search to, um, not show certain, um, keywords. Yeah, I don't know. It's... <laughs> it's a thing. I just stacked wood on top of stone. And this is where everybody stops watching. Alright, um, so we need to keep moving forward. Let's just start on this rock real quick. Because why would we not? We've been working on the other rock over there. Uh, Linus Tech Tips did did a... Uh, I think, it, if I remember correctly, I think it was like a secret shopper or something like that. Or the, I, I can't remember. They they tested a bunch of these different ones. We actually need some food. Uh, right there. And then I Buy Power was like packaged. Some of the best packaging. And then um, you actually got what you were paying for. But some of the uh, some of the comments on there, some of the reviews and everything for for all of them really. I mean that's, that's true for anything you go out there and buy. You you could find bad comments, uh, and bad reviews on just about everything. But some of them were really freaking me out. They're like, yeah, I ordered this and it's been 12 weeks and I haven't received my product and blah 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 on and these nightmares. Oh, weather event! Their first weather event on stream. But I'm telling you, I've had zero, uh, I've had zero problems. Like, I can't speak for the people who have. My personal experience was, uh, I got on the website, I built the machine I wanted, paid for it. Five weeks later, it showed up at my door. <laughs> and that's all she wrote. It's been running smooth. I've done nothing to it. It's also a closed loop uh, cooling system. Now I'm putting stone on top of, uh, of wood. That's how I roll. So I don't have to do like the it's liquid cooled, but I don't have to do like all of the uh, the the coolant fluid draining and all that kind of stuff. John, you've always used used YouTube. Uh, me too. I actually like started learning how to code by watching. Uh, you guys probably aren't familiar, but Traversy Media. Brad, great great channel, and then uh, Bucky Roberts back in the day, dude. Bucky Roberts, that's where it's that's where it was at. But then I find myself, I find myself getting into uh, what they call uh, tutorial purgatory, where you spend so much time watching tutorials and not and not a lot of time like actually solving the problem, working on solving the problem myself. So I had to move away from all the all the tutorials, and then I started a web development channel myself, and because I thought you know the best way to learn is to teach. <laughs> It, it didn't do that bad. I got 130 subscribers on it. I haven't done anything in like, I don't know, probably two years at this point in that thing. I want to get back into it. I want to do a goodish, uh, I actually have the channel made for it already, the goodish techie. <laughs> I want to do like a web development channel and uh, it's just finding the time, you know what I'm saying? Like everything is so time consuming, especially when I've got what I consider three full-time jobs. I'm a, a web developer, uh, actually I guess four. Well, if we if we say family, I'm a web developer, a family man, and then a YouTuber. So, let's see. What am I doing here? This. Here's my. Here's all this stuff here. There we go. Hmm. Uh. Cough edits. This weather event is not that bad. I say that, but then on top right, we got a little red patch coming up. 
The good thing about building in stone is you can stick the fire inside. You can actually build a fireplace with a chimney and everything, and it acts as a fireplace because you need a fireplace, a lit fireplace, in order to sleep. What do you think of cloud gaming? Like the uh, Google Stadia? Um, the, I mean, I was really interested when I first saw the Stadia being released. I was kind of waiting for bigger titles to be put on it. Um, but I think that's really cool because you don't, I mean, you have a controller and you use your TV and like some kind of like Chromecast or something like that to cast it, but using their server resources. So, I mean, you're always going to have like the best latency. You're always going to have the best resources. You're not going to have, you know, hardware and, and like storage that one of the worst things about having a YouTube channel, I've got like freaking eight terabytes worth of storage. And most of them are full from past videos, thumbnails, uh, Photoshop files and all that kind of stuff when, when you're doing cloud gaming all that is stored on the cloud so i i like the idea of it um if, if they get licensing for more of the titles i think that's where it's really going to take off and shine and i, I google stadia i mean if anyone's going to get licensing it's going to be google right don't bring work into your into your passions yeah i know i know my passion, though, is, it, at the end of the day, my passion really is to help people. And, and that's kind of why I, like, started my first channel. I was like, if I had someone to explain the most simplest part of writing HTML, like, that would have been huge for me. So that's kind of what my channel was around. It wasn't for, like, the, uh, the professionals. It was for the noobs. Like, how do we do a line break? <laughs> You love games. Have you ever thought about the game development? Joe, I have. Um, honestly, it intimidates me. I've got a buddy, uh, Christopher, who uh, he's a viewer and watches everything. He's doing that right now, and I'd love to pick his brain. Um, there's just so many different engines. There's like the Unity. There's uh, there's uh, Unreal. There's uh, the Cry. Isn't the Cry engine? Is that what Star Citizen, Star Citizen is based off of? I don't know. It's just, it's really intimidating to me. And I think you need to like, um, I know there's free assets and everything, but I think we need to like purchase some of the assets and that kind of stuff. But it is definitely something I've had my eye on. And it was something I would really love to do, but um, it's just, it's finding the time. Like you guys get the last minutes of my day. And I'm talking like last minutes, like I don't really stop. I don't, I used to watch TV shows. I used to sit around and like <laughs> have a life. And now I'm just, I'm go from the time I wake up till the moment I go to sleep. I'm not complaining at all. I love it. I do it because I love it. <clears throat> uh, you need to use roof tiles instead of floor. Oh, oh. See, I wasn't doing roof because I was trying to save the, the, the points because I wanted to jump right into brick or stone I mean you're right you you are right um, but we can always we can get the the repair hammer but honestly right now I mean it's, it's not that big of a deal it's kind of cheap I like saving my points for uh, as much as possible have you thought about um, hosting a goodish gamer multiplayer server after Icarus's official launch? Yes, Ryan, I have. Um, I, I definitely want to do that. I've been kind of waiting to see, uh, waiting for it to launch because the last two beta weekends I haven't been available for. Like, it was, like, the last stream was literally the last night. It was, like, four hours before they turned the server off. I was like, let's live stream this thing and let's get as far as we could. We didn't get very far at all. But, um... This is the first weekend that I've actually had available during the beta... And that's why I haven't done any kind of like multiplayer because uh, my schedule, it's just, uh, it, it gets backed up pretty quickly. But yes, once it launches, definitely. And it's no longer just on the weekends. We can actually play during the week. Um, I want to get a, a, a server up. I always hear that there's this whisper in this. There's like a uh, sound clip in the game. And it's like this whisper. It's like a uh, Smeagol whisper and it's always like right in my ear and it freaks me the frig out every time it happens and it's on like a loop so it's nothing like really nearby it's just like a sound clip they stick in the background <clears throat> it 
it's a different profession for sure. Uh, web development or Star Citizen is off of Amazon Lumberjack. Oh, is it really? Oh, that's cool. Okay. We're using a uh, beanstalk for our old servers before we switched. Why don't I have donations open? Or am I just dumb and can't find them? Uh, no. Greg, you're not dumb. I'm the dumb one. Um, I don't know how to YouTube. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how to do this stuff. Um, I was like, let me start a YouTube channel because I enjoy video games. And then all of a sudden, uh, I need a Discord. I'm like, how do you Discord? Um, I actually don't know. I, I think... Super Chats, John? Yeah, I think I have Super Chats on. I want to get, like, memberships set up and all that jazz. I just don't really know what to offer right now. Um, it, it honestly blows my mind that people would even want to, like, you know, like, donate anything. It, it just blows my mind. And a member, like, I don't, I don't really know what to do with a member. I, I need to figure it out. I definitely need to figure that out. Um, let's see. We need, uh, so that stores 100. We have 100 stone. We can go ahead and craft this bad boy. Okay. So, kind of the boring part of the stream right now, I mean, I, I'm having, I'm having a blast. The boring part of the gameplay, I should say, is just, uh, grinding the very beginnings. John, thank you so much. Wow. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You didn't need to do that. That means that means a lot. <clears throat> Down below. Uh there's a little dollar sign where Oh, is that the little dollar sign down in the in the chat? See, I got the YouTube channel. I don't even know. <laughs> we go yeah I am um, I I streamed over on Twitch gosh like a year and a half ago my channel's like I started it in January end of January of 2019 so it's a little channel that could um, but I used to stream on Twitch and uh, I was like man I can't keep track of all of these platforms so I just kind of moved it over here I'm like everybody that watches me is over here on YouTube, so I thought I might as well stream on YouTube. I know some people, they'll do the streaming on Twitch, and they'll do their videos on YouTube. I don't know. I've been hearing some things about Twitch. I'm, I'm not here to, to talk bad about anything, so I don't really have anything bad to say. I've just been hearing things, so I'm, I'm, I'm here on YouTube, and it's a whole other beast. I was like, how do I set up a live stream? <laughs> Even right now, my stream keeps telling me my bitrate's too high. Um, but it looks smooth. I'm hoping it's still smooth. This game is giving me Minecraft and Far Cry, Far Cry Primal. Yes! Dude, I, I love Minecraft. Uh, man, that was my game back in the day. And it just doesn't do good on my channel, probably because it's so competitive. I mean, everybody and their mom plays Minecraft, but the old Feed the Beast uh, FTB Mods? Modded Minecraft, I should say, is my favorite. Dude, I love modded Minecraft. I think the only Far Cry I, pl uh, I played was, like, Far Cry 3? Way back then? I don't even know if it was that. It may have been 2. They always look like cool games, and then by the time I get around to it, they're, like, old. And they're coming out with another one. I'm like, holy cow, they're coming out with another one already? I didn't even get to play the last one. Okay, we have got... These resources, damn, look at this. Look at our little wall. Our little wall of, of progress. What level are we? We are level 8, finally. Oh, we can, uh, let's see, what should we spend this on? So, I don't know if you guys know or not. Um, playing, technically I'm playing, I'm not playing solo. Because I'm on a server I'm hosting right now. Um, but I don't know if this solo icon right here, like, I don't know if these attributes if they stack 
with these? You know, like a increase to base health and become to solo increase base health. So I don't know um, if we can get three out of this one and we can come over here to solo and get two more so we can have five total or if this one cancels out the other or vice versa. I'm not entirely sure. So I actually haven't tested that. I keep meaning to test it. What's up, Chris G? How's it going, my man? You're sounding better? Yeah. Yep. I'm feeling a lot better. I keep having to uh, to cough edit, but it's all good. I am I'm definitely doing much much better. I just keep speaking healing over me. You know what I'm saying? As I cough edit. <laughs> all right, so um, we have some points to spend. We need to go ahead and get those spent, but um, I kind of wait until we're level 10. I want to save up as much points as possible till we get to level 10, uh, which is tier 2. And then we can jump into the crafting bench, the oxide distiller, or dissolver, I said, the oxygen bladder, the water skin, the better bow, these iron tools. I don't know if I'm going to do the iron tools just yet. The stone furnace, we need that too. We need so much stuff. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> We're going to need a lot of points. So I want to save as much as Greg Miller. My gosh, dude. Th thank you so much. Maybe you can help me out with starting a channel, but if not, no worries. I'm happy. I'm happy to help anybody. Um, yeah. If um, I'm trying to think of the best way if you join my uh if you join my discord channel i want to say them the link is in the description i think i copied everything over then um uh, i try to be pretty active on there and we can like private chat and everything I, i'm happy to give you all the information i have thank you so much thank you so much greg for your donation the the super chat or Whatever it's technically called, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, John, I have a little mute button on my headset for quick coughs and sneezes. Yeah, I have, um, I, so having a channel for like three years now, I have invested a lot into it. And I'm finally at a point, if you go back and you watch some of my first videos, like the Call of Duty ones, even, even when I first started, uh, start, first started Star Citizen, the audio was always terrible because I, I, I'm self-taught. Everything I've done ever is I'm self-taught. So um, you kind of do what, what what works. I'm finally at a place, and, and I'm trying not to say this. I, I don't want to sound braggy, but I'm finally at a place where I got my dream microphone. I have the Go XLR. There's a nice little button there you can click. Um, I don't know. Can you guys, Can you guys hear this? If I bleep. And I have a quick mute button, and I always just kind of reach over there and hold that uh, to cough. Very, very convenient, because it used to be I just kind of talked and coughed, and then <laughs> I always gave myself way more editing to do. <clears throat> uh, Greg, it would be sweet to do some stuff together, especially on Star Citizen. I'd love that. I would love that. Um, I always feel really bad, because there's so many people... That want to like give me ships to tour and everything, and uh, they always want to meet up in the in the verse. I just, I, I'm totally down. I'm totally down for it. My schedule is just crazy. Uh, there's no. I always try to be online after like as close to 9 p.m. as possible. Sometimes I don't get on. Yes, bleep heard. Okay, cool. Sometimes I don't get on until 10:30. Like tonight, uh, we've been streaming for 49 minutes already. And, uh, I'd wanted to be on by, like, 8. It just didn't happen. So, um, I am busy, but I don't want to be too busy that I'm inaccessible. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want I want to I want to hang out. I want to do cool stuff with people. So, we should definitely, um, meet up in the verse. I'm kind of waiting till uh, 3.15, like, officially launches. And that could be, do my O2. Oh, my gosh. That could be this weekend. Right? I mean, it could be any day now. Um, so, the end of... The video that I released today, if you guys didn't know, um, I did put out a video today. 
How are you guys doing? Chris G, I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Um, I toured the most confusing ship in a... Legitimately confused me. You guys told me, like, a month and a half ago or two months ago, is our O2 even going up? I should I should tour the Starfarer. <laughs> and I was like, okay. You guys say it's confusing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check it out finally. And my gosh. So confusing. I was going somewhere with that. <laughs> I don't remember where I was going with that. Uh, Veterans Day is Thursday. If you have it off, streaming marathon, that would be awesome. I watched it, it was hilarious. <laughs> oh man. Sometimes people, uh, people will tell, like, they'll, they'll accuse me of faking things. Or, uh, hyping things up. I'm, I'm, it's always my genuine reaction. And that was... I still remember, I still remember recording it. I was like, let's go ahead and, uh, let's hurry up. Because I don't want to sit here on the landing dock. I don't want landing services to, to get rid of me. So let's go ahead and, uh, take off. And I, I went where I thought the bridge was. The bridge was not there. And it, I legitim legitimately had no words. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. It was great. It was great. I mean, it, it, it was a cool ship. It's a cool concept. Um, it's not for me. And apparently there's a fuel glitch. Like, my fuel, if you guys watched it, my fuel was, it, I swear I had like a fuel leak. And we got a parasite. Perfect. <clears throat> John, yeah, that ship was dumb. The, the uh, so so the the fuel consumption is apparently a glitch. It's a known glitch. I didn't know because I don't do any research. I always just log in. I'm like, let's just let's do it live. I am the probably the least prepared YouTuber out there, and sometimes I think it upsets people. But you know, it it allows me to give my genuine reaction every single time. Um, so that's what the fuel glitch or the fuel consumption was. It's an actual glitch. <laughs> and then the thrusters, um. See what happened was I didn't realize the ship was that large. That was a massive ship. I thought it was gonna be like I don't know, like 600 I big, where it's like still manageable. No, that thing's like Carrick big. Maybe not that big, but uh, you know, um, it it, it was way bigger than I thought. So if I would have known it was that big again, if I would have done research. <laughs> then, then I would have definitely gone up to, uh, what, what's over, what's over near Babbage? I can never remember. Is that Tressler or is that, uh, Port, uh, I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember what port that is, but I definitely would have taken it off up there and we would have had a better go at it. So that's what was up with the thrusters. The thrusters were just me being dumb, trying to take a massive ship without VTOL, just straight up out of the atmosphere on the snow planet. Uh, in a Starfarer. <laughs> Doing great? Good, Chris. I'm glad to hear it. Um, has anyone offered you to buy... You... Uh, to buy you the Origin 800, which I think is uh, Grand IRL? No. No, no one's offered to buy me any ships. And, and that's okay. I, I, I can... I like grinding in-game for ships. Um, I have... I have live-streamed Star Citizen a couple times. And uh, people are gracious. And they give me... In-game currency. Go ahead and sleep real quick. Um, which right now isn't a problem because the PTU... You know, I wasn't paying attention. Did we actually sleep? Hold on. <laughs> I don't think that was lit. Uh, the PTU is live right now. There we go. Okay, that, that worked. Um, <clears throat> and the PTU, it always, they always give us 15 million credits to play with, so that's not really an issue. Now, I did blow 6 million on the freaking Starfarer. <laughs> uh, let's see. Like the guy that was trying to defend his ship. I mean, it, it, everyone's entitled to 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 their likes. Um, you know, I'm not here to judge. If someone said anything bad about the reclaimer, I'd probably like. I'd go off. I, I mean, even though it's like it's the universe's 
paperweight, really. There's no, like, real function for the reclaimer, but my gosh, that ship is incredible, dude. There, I haven't seen a ship yet. And I even had Idris show up on one of my streams. Like, I came out of the hangar, and there's an Idris right there. My very first Star Citizen stream ever. I was like, I'm just going to test it to make sure the, the video quality is good. I come out of the hangar. There's there's a wolf right there. There's an Idris right there, and it ended up being like two and a half hours, and people showed up and were showing me their ships. It was awesome. But I haven't seen a ship yet that has blown me away. Oh, I just hit my wall. Look at this guy. These guys love inside of my butt shot. We're doing it live on stream. You guys saw it first here. Oh, he's a good boy. And I feel bad for killing him. <laughs> oh, man. Not really. I don't feel that bad. What was I talking about? The uh, the reclaimer? I love it. Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Is one of the original ships uh, made before they made... Yeah, okay, so... Greg, that's what surprises me. It's one of the original, the Starfire is one of the original ships, and I actually, I actually heard that. Um, I think you guys told me that before I even did the video. Which really surprises me that, uh, what's up, Kim? Thanks for stopping by. Welcome. Um, I'm surprised they haven't done anything with it. Like, it still hasn't received its gold pass. There's a lot of things in it that still don't work. Like, I don't know, it's really, really interesting. <laughs> that, I, I, um... I'd never seen it. I'd never been on it before, so I really didn't know what to expect, but I was expecting a lot more, at least in terms of functionality. Like, I sat down in the captain's seat thinking it was the pilot seat, and I, I kind of feel like that should be a crossover, right? Like, they had the little Rolex readouts right there, but I feel like you should at least be able to, like, take off. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm encumbered. I feel like you should be able to take off from, from the captain's seat. Okay. Uh, it was acting like the fuel tanks were full of something. It wasn't fuel, John. <laughs> Star Citizen is awesome. Yes, it is. Pretty sure the Starfarer uh, was the first large ship. Yeah, and, and I've seen it going around a lot, and I, apparently it's like, it's a well-known thing. And I guess it kind of makes sense that uh, the Starfarer was kind of made to be more of an F FPS level. And probably for uh, Squadron 42, which totally makes sense. There's another wolf right there. Dude, we're going to have to repair our bow. Okay. The headshots are legit in this stream. I think I missed 80% of my shots in the last stream. The stream that took my voice. I can't believe it was, it's been like two weeks already. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I just about pooped my pants to a little freaking squirrel that's ran past. Okay, uh, let's see. I saw, <laughs> I saw your video uh, of the largest ship in the game. The one with the claw. Yeah, that's the Reclaimer. That's the one I'm talking about. Uh, and then watch your first video where you had a ship with controls and a little bunk bed. The difference is vast. That's what I love about Star Citizen. Is the, I mean, first the, the immersion. I love everything about Star Citizen, really. I mean, the, I don't understand people that have issues with it i guess it's their own issues and they're they're okay they're allowed to have those but i just i don't get it uh it's been nothing but incredible for me but you, the juxtaposition you could put different ships like next to each other and even buildings and everything even mountains uh you can put ships there even going into third person next to landing gear i love doing that um it, man i don't know it's it's just crazy i love doing that with all the different ships Can't believe it was the same game. Yeah. Greg, they definitely will fix it. They will, and I'm really curious to see what they do with it. I toured the, um... Was it the, the Genesis? The Genesis? The Gemini? The Gemini? I can't remember. I toured the... Apparently, the one I toured is a military one, and there is supposed to be a a table and chairs in there. There was, there was not for me. Um... So, I'm curious to see what all they change and then like what goes into a gold pass in a gold pass are they allowed to like completely change the layout of something or is it just like aesthetics i wonder i know the information is out there i could easily google it but i just i don't do that stuff <laughs> i'm gonna call it a night ryan thanks for hanging out uh really glad to got i got to catch you live me too 
I've been watching all your videos this week. You're doing great. Uh, content is good. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you uh, in the next video and then hopefully in the next live stream. I, I, I wish I could tell you when that was. I'm ready for Icarus to release already. Me too. It's like the end of this month, right? Anyway, take it easy, Ryan, if you're still here. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Um, I think it's going to be a fantastic game. I... I, I really I have high hopes for it. There's nothing that's pointing to It being a bad game at this point. There's there's some questionable things Like uh, why we need to gather oxygen on a planet That's clearly full of trees and then why don't the animals need oxygen? That's nitpicky stuff that um, I get and I have those thoughts too, but uh, I just kind of take it for what it is and I know there's a lot of gameplay that we haven't really seen yet too like uh, if you guys, have you guys seen the trailer for Icarus? Go watch the trailer. There's some cool things in there. There's like a dune buggy. There's like um, there's like a motorcycle. We're gonna have vehicles. There's alien um, predators as well. There's alien wildlife that we haven't seen yet in any of the beta weekends, or I haven't anyway. Um, the last beta weekend I did, I didn't get to it, but I was watching um, who's I watching play? I think I was watching Fooster play it, and he found a worm. Like a giant sandworm, like in Dune, uh, Fooster and uh, Fisk. Go check them out. They're they're good guys. Um, and I didn't make it that far, and I think that was the first that I've seen people play. I think that was the first um, where I actually seen like alien wildlife. So I'm curious to see when they're going to introduce um, more of that wildlife, and then what the actually the end. That, like once they finish they fully release the game what that gameplay is going to look like because like right now we're always given like 20 was it 24 hours or something like that that clock on the top so that clock is going to change or my my understanding is that clock is always going to change once they go live based on um like what what uh mission like what kind of mission you're on because they're not always the same this one we're supposed to collect the radar which we did I landed in my skate pod uh, over that early direction somewhere. And we came here. This box is already here. And if we check it, there's uh, there's two radars in here. I have one on my person, which actually I can probably... S no, I can't put it back. Perfect. So we need three radars because there's three dots on the map. And that's what I want to do with you guys on stream tonight. <coughs> but, um... <coughs> Excuse me. Um... But we need to kind of get prepared first, and I want to get to level 10 so we get into tier 2 stuff. Um, what do you use for Star Citizen? I use keyboard and mouse because um, I just, I, I haven't plunged. I, I've, I've spent all of my content creation uh, gaming budget on my gear right now for like video and, and audio and everything. I, I want to get that stuff under control, and I'm, I'm kind of happy with where my audio is right now. If my voice was working the way it's supposed to work um i think it'd be really good but I, i've been playing around with my eq my mix and all that kind of stuff like I, I have no idea what i'm doing you guys and it's apparent in a lot of my videos dude this guy is there another thing in my base so i really uh, i say that to say i've been spending all my money there's something in my base that everybody wants a piece of and i can't get headshots because they're inside the door So, HOTAS is on the list of things to get. Definitely. Def, def, definitely. Let's go ahead and skin this guy. Uh, let's see. I think they moved Icarus release to early December. Oh, yeah, I think I did see that. It was originally scheduled for November 20th, but I think they changed November 20th through the 24th, I think. To like some community event. I don't know exactly what that means. Let's go ahead and drop off some of this stuff. We are uh, we're carrying around a lot of crap we don't need to be carrying around. That, that, that. Uh, I used to stick my wood and stone in here like a pleb. Now I don't do that. Because we can just stack them all up outside. What is that sign? Do you guys see that red? What? Hold on. I have never seen this before. What is this? Disorientation. I'm running. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. <gasps> okay. Uh, hold on, you guys. Things just got serious. We are low on oxygen. 
Oh, I'm such a good gamer. I haven't even been paying attention to my vitals, and it's a freaking survival game. <laughs> the game's yelling at me. Oxygen is low. Hold on. Suck on this for a little bit. That should buy me, like, a couple seconds or so. Watch us hit a, a bear. We really can't die, because in this game, when you die, you get a penalty. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We'll be fine. You get a penalty on your experience points, so... Um, and also, our food's getting a little low, too. Let's go ahead and try to buy some time with that. That happened to me in the first playthrough. Um, here we go. I got a, uh, a penalty, and it was like my full XP bar turned red, and I had to gain all of the XP to get rid of the red, and then refill it again. So it was like I did level, I think it was like level 8. I think I did level 8 like twice. It was terrible, and that's why we, that's why we need to get the, uh, the oxy... Oxid something or other. Do you guys hear that? That's what I'm talking about. There's something. The Oxide Dissolver. There's that sound clip again. It's like a... I can't do it with my voice. <clears throat> oh, there's a wolf right there. Oh my gosh. how that wolf not see me? I feel like maybe the wolf... Oh, did you guys... Oh, yes! I feel like the, uh, the aggro distance has been changed on the wolves. Eight. And this knife is gonna break. Um, oh, 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 yep, yeah, it broke. A level up again. Yes, we're doing so good. No oh, weather event. We're not doing good. Okay, let's get back. This one is showers. We haven't had anything terrible just yet. He's out there. Can you guys hear the game okay? Um, like, is the game volume decent? I don't want it overpowering, but I want you guys to be able to hear some of the stuff I'm hearing. So it doesn't look like I'm just pausing all the time. Uh, we can't really sleep. There is an in there is an incoming storm. <clears throat> uh, I think Icarus' atmosphere is uh is supposed to be poisonous somehow. Yeah, you were right. It is. It is. And, and it all came down to the backstory is there was like some uh some terraforming that went completely wrong and it corrupted everything, uh, like the atmosphere and everything. But somehow it didn't corrupt the animals, the wildlife, and that kind of stuff. Um, but then why not have a filter on your suit? Yeah, I do like that when we go underwater, we don't have an oxygen meter. Like, we can swim, and our oxygen stays as long as we have oxygen. Or oxide, right? Uh, right here. Which we're already low on. My gosh, you guys, we have to... Oh, oh, oh. Come on, frames. Sometimes the game will, like, it'll, it'll take a little fart break. Uh, Star Citizen and Icarus combined thoughts, that would be awesome. If we could have this boots on the ground gameplay in Star Citizen, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, um, where even is it? It's over there. And then our, our pod, if we could jump in our pod and take off the space and then go to my favorite planet here in Icarus, which I don't think we'll ever land on. You can't see during the day, really. It's unfortunate. There's this massive planet. If we could fly up to that, dude, I would love that. Uh, oxide Dissolver is good. Yes, um, we need to get to a level, or tier 2. We just um, entered into level 9. It's kind of a weird way to say that. So we're almost there, and then that's when the game is really going to take off for us. Uh, your voice is louder than the game, but it's a good balance. Good. Yeah, I wanted my voice to be louder because these storms, it's always hard to mix, too, because the storms are super loud. I'm shotgun fatality in your Discord, by the Oh, okay, okay. Awesome. <clears throat> yeah, feel free to uh, message me. I try. There's a wolf right there. My gosh. I try to be pretty active on there. I'm more active on there than I am on, like, any social media platforms. I'm always told, like, dude, go go be, like, a real content creator and uh, have all the social presence out there. I just I can't find time for it. I know it kind of sounds like an excuse, but... I, I guess it may be. <laughs> it it kind of is. I'll see you later. Have a good night. Uh, Lord be with you all. Thank you, Chris. Um, have a great night. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's always good to see you. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put this in there. Sticks of fiber. Right there. Uh, we did get silica. Where did we get silica from? I was mining a silica deposit thinking it was stone. 100% that's what happened. <laughs> let's go ahead and craft this. I still have a hard time with Discord uh, when I figured out. Me too. Okay, me too. Um, I'm happy to teach you everything I've learned because I know nothing about it. And then everyone was like, you need a Discord. You need this. You need this. I'm like, how How do I even do this? Um, permissions has been my biggest pain point. And I know you can, I know I can like lock down channels and uh, give different permissions and that kind of stuff. But I'm still learning it. I try to be pretty active on there. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, get, get owned. Dude. Sorry if that was loud. Oh, ro <laughs> wrong button. Um, I went to mute my cough. I think, um, let's see. I think if you click on my name I think they're Greg if you click on my name in discord I think you can uh, message me that way and it will like private message me and if you ever ever have any questions too about about star citizen and stuff that the community on my discord um, I may be a little biased but it's probably the best discord community out there I mean like everybody watching I, I'm just so thankful that for each one of you guys being here like <laughs> you guys are truly um, the, the best community. I started up Star Citizen thinking like, here I am, I'm going to be this new guy coming into this like well-established uh, veteran community. I'm going to be the new guy that comes in and like upsets everybody with my lack of knowledge. Whoa, 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 dude. It was completely opposite. Um, I came in as the new guy and said, I, I say I said, I continuously saying, uh, inaccuracies all the time because I'll hear someone say something I'll read something and it's about some other ship or they update it and I'm unaware that they updated it I'm always saying something wrong in my star citizen videos and each one of you guys everyone's always so gracious and uh, just very kind about it so um... okay that's enough that's enough flattery for you guys I can't I can't let you guys get big heads uh, let's see Let's go ahead and repair this. We're almost there, you guys. We're almost level 10. And then we can... Uh, let's see. This is... I think it's sticks. Sometimes I have a hard time seeing the icon. I think it's sticks to repair the uh, the little boat. There it is. <clears throat> and then, you know what we need to do? Just right away. Right away. Before anything else. I'm going to leave that door open because apparently all the life... <laughs> yeah, the wildlife. They love coming to my little base. I'm going to keep that door open. Hopefully they all go inside. And then I can close the door behind them and then maybe catch the place on fire. Is that, like, way too morbid for, uh, for YouTube? <laughs> Have you looked into the, uh, game glass for Star Citizen? Uh, I haven't. What, what is it? Is that like a, uh, is that a camera? I haven't. Uh, for sure, man, you're doing great. I'm on top of Star Citizen. Maybe we can uh, trade some info. Yes, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, anybody that can make me look less of the the newest player in Star Citizen would be great. Um, th there's, like, new people that came, that started Star Citizen, like, more recently than me. And they're, like, way more versed in it. I'll be watching some of their channels. And some of their streams are like, no, you can't do that because on uh, uh, three fifth or three thirteen it changed this, and that's not a thing on this planet. I'm like, how do they even? <laughs> how do they even know that? All well, comes down to research, I guess. Game Glass lets you uh, use a tablet or a phone as a game interface for extra buttons. Oh, I I have not heard of that. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, it hurts to laugh. My gosh, look at this. <laughs> I feel like I want to leave that guy there. Uh, Greg, you've been following Star Citizen for four years. So, um, it's been like four or five years since I've heard about it. We still need O2. That's what I want out to get. Um, but I have not been actively following it. I think I've... I think back... Back... I, I want to say it was like four or five years ago. Um, it may have been three or four years ago. I, I saw um, YouTuber Massive G play it. And I was like, this game looks cool. And he looked at the Caterpillar. And I was like, that is a cool ship. But he, he kept talking about how like unoptimized the game was. So I never... Really fully looked into it, and back then it was only I think you only had the hangar or the hangers or something like that. It wasn't like you couldn't land on any planets, or to my knowledge, you couldn't. Uh, but I've kind of kept my eye on it throughout the years, but just like to keep it you know in, in, in my brain place, but not like uh, not an avid follower of like this is what they changed during this update and this this during this update. I thought it was a great idea, the immersion like got me from day one even even there wasn't like really gameplay it was all just like walking around a hangar looking at ships <laughs> and that's kind of what that's kind of what my channels turned into is like let's look at ships together but I, I love it there's there's so much to see uh, I need to do some more location tours too but I need to I need to do a little more research on on what locations there are to tour I've seen quite a bit of them um, but the ships there's a never-ending amount of ships so there's always content there, and they're so unique and so fun. That piece of wood just went down into the ground. <clears throat> uh, you can start your ship by clicking the tablet instead of clicking R. Oh, that's really cool. I actually really like that. Uh, you can set up uh, multiple tablets if you want. I have a, uh, I have a little stream deck. I have the mini, and I, I, re I really wish I had the big one, because I can set up shortcut keys on that. I'm wondering if I could set that up. Now that you're saying all that, I wonder if I can set up some uh, Star Citizen shortcuts on my stream deck. Did I just... Well, I, I can't take credit for the genius idea. You just gave me a genius idea. I, I, I now need to test it out. It's a slow roll with Star Citizen, uh, but they... Are recently put back on Greg. <laughs> they're they're doing really good. Um, I dude, there's another wolf. I feel like every five minutes, that's what the stream is saying. Just there's a wolf. There's a wolf. Um, <clears throat> I started right. I started playing Star Citizen like right before. It was uh, right before 3.14, like right as 3.14 came out, because I, f I first started, um, I think I was at New Babbage. I took off in my Aurora, and I made, like, these ridiculous claims that I thought I heard people talking about. I was like, yeah, I know the game, and then everyone in the comments was like, what are you even saying? <laughs> it's okay. Oh! Dude, did that wolf go and eat the body off of my door? You? There's two wolves. They did, and they took my door down. Now we've got this demon deer. Okay, what has happened? There's two wolves right there. Um. But, uh, okay, so anyway, back on track. Th 314, they've done so much even since then. Like, I'm blown away. 315 is huge. 316 is going to be big. I can't wait for Pyro. I can't wait for these next uh, systems to come out. There's so much. I haven't actually played much Star Citizen. Uh, I'm getting stuff set up to play right now. Awesome. It's, um... <clears throat> obviously, I mean, it's one of my favorite games. I just, I love playing Star Citizen, but it's also... One of the more frustrating games I've played in a long time, especially having a channel around it. If it was just me, and I was playing by myself, I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Because I'm pretty laid back. I, I'm, I'm really good at, like, letting a lot of things just kind of, like, slide off and, and not worry about a lot of stuff. But, um, having a channel and kind of content relying on it, 
there's times it's like two and a half to three hours I'm playing Star Citizen and I'll get like a 16 minute video out. <laughs> it is what it is, right? I mean, it, I, I love it. I love it for what it is. Um, the people standing on chairs, like you, you, you kind of just start loving Star Citizen for that stuff and I kind of be kind of sad when uh, the day that they like fix that and I, I walk into any place with people's people's NPCs and they're not standing on chairs like that'll be a sad day <laughs> that's how it goes yeah that, that, totally right that, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to bed feeling so defeated planning on having an epic epic night getting like a new video out I've got like these editing ideas cinematics all this kind of stuff I got to figure out how to edit it all I'll go and I'll log in and quickly within like 30 minutes <laughs> feeling so defeated and I'm like no 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 we're powering through I'm getting a video out if it kills me there's that planet right there and then um and there's no video ever comes out I'm like well I guess that's kind of part of it too you just got to kind of learn that's not so much about Star Citizen as it is more about content creation you kind of have to learn when to uh, when to kind of take a night off you know because I'm kind of a workaholic uh, and it's a good thing I enjoy what I do okay there's a wolf over here is that him no <coughs> Uh, I was playing, trying to use my Logitech X52 Pro uh, Hotas. You got a Hotas? That's awesome. Dude, the settings for that thing alone make me go cross-eyed. Uh, but I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted in game. I wish I could help you there. Um, there's a lot of good videos on how to set that stuff up. I th That's something that right now I'm like, dude, I have so much stuff I'm learning right now. Um... I don't know if I'm ready to, to stick button mapping on a joystick <laughs> to my list right now. Not enough buttons. Yeah. Uh, you can do, if you got the budget for it, you can do dual sticks. Or you can do like the, uh, the little thruster and then a stick. I got a person to pay me 100k in Star Citizen money to bring them... A burrito? No way, Greg. That was that's so something I would do. I love I love that there's burritos in the game. One of the coolest things, not the coolest thing, but one thing that really stood out to me. And I know it's I don't know if a lot of people <laughs> would see this or not. But they have hot dog stands in the game and they have a double dog. Like <laughs> I don't know, there's something about it. But I, I I can't I can't tell you what it is, but I just thought it was hilarious. There's there's a double dog. And then there's burritos. I love it. I put the, the burrito. I, I even featured it in one of my montages. I think it was my Xeno Threat montage. <laughs> I was like, I gotta get this burrito in there. <laughs> oh, it, Star Citizen is the most button-hungry game I've ever played. You got that right. For sure. Um, that's why... I mean, I just kind of like, wait, what? We just all of a sudden weren't encumbered? That was weird. Yeah, I, I try to just kind of stick with R, Y, U, and I. <laughs> and holding down F. Uh, let's see. There we go. <clears throat> I have the same Hotas. Uh, it took me a whole day to set it up. Oh, you need the app. Which probably means you need drivers. I'm still hearing stuff. Uh, there, There is Hotas and dual joysticks mapping. Have you guys... I mean, I'm sure you have. I mean, we're talking about Star Citizen. Everybody here knows more about Star Citizen than me. Guaranteed. But have you guys, like, really looked at the settings in Star Citizen? My very first time logging into Star Citizen, 
Um, I just needed to know how to interact because I was going around trying to E everything like you do in most games. And I was like, I can't get this door open to save my life. So I was looking to see what the action key was. Um, I opened up my settings. <laughs> my options. I looked at the settings and I instantly closed it. I was like, nope, I, I don't know if I can play this game. I don't know if I'm smart enough to play this game. And then uh, I went over to... Uh, key mapping or key bindings or whatever and I found my my action key and that's about as far as I've got into the settings um until recently I I, I have set up a uh, FOIP face over IP which is really funny if you guys played with that at all and I actually had it working in the P oh where, where are you where are you I had it working in the PU but then when the PTU came out I can't get it to work so I don't know I'm using the same webcam I have a uh, 1080p 60 frames per second webcam. I'm going to leave those bones there. Actually, no, I'm not. I say that. I'm actually going to bring the bones with me. And now I'm sneezing. Um, oh, we need to turn this off. And we also need to build another door. Okay. I can't remember what I was talking about. The, dude, you guys, welcome to my life. This is... Uh, this is sometimes why why videos don't get out. I start a game, I start a video, and I'm like, yeah, stuff, things. And then something shiny will happen, and I'm like, what was I talking about? And I'll hit stop recording, and I'll have to start it all over again. And it'll happen again. It's like the most frustrating thing in the world. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, that's Jewel. Uh, I have bought the Verbal Constellation Alpha left and right sticks. Oh, dude. Going to get the bases in a couple weeks. Nice. Dude, you're going to have a full setup. Then I'll start really playing. Uh, yeah, it would be really cool to play with joysticks to get like a full immersion. I know you can play with a, a controller. I have an Xbox controller. Um, But uh, I don't I don't use it because they're the, like the key combos. I don't think you can do everything on that with the key combos. So stick with a keyboard and mouse. Um... Stopped being encumbered because of the... Oh, oh yeah, because of this, because we consumed some oxide and it freed up... The, you're genius. Uh, n no, no, no. Go to Buzzkiller's mapping. He does it all for you. Dude, Buzzkiller. Buzzkiller's awesome. I watched his... uh, Not Reclaimer. The Retaliator video. Buzzkiller's the man. He's got good stuff. Um, let's see here. I kind of purposely try not to watch too much Star Citizen content. I know, um, I, that's probably why I don't know much about it. <clears throat> I'm kind of the, the type of gamer, I like to experience things for myself. It's probably not the best way to approach it when I have a channel. Um, but I was, I've been kind of, you know, up front. From the beginning, I'm not an education channel. <laughs> you might learn some things, uh, but most likely you will learn how not to do things. And that's not just Star Citizen. That's like, that's like any game I play. I like to experience it. Um, I know there's a lot of good Star Citizen channels out there. I watch some of them. I'll watch like updates and that kind of stuff. But um, I like to be pleasantly surprised most times. The controller would be hard with Star Citizen. Yeah, um, I've I've heard of people doing it, and it, it kind of works with flying, but I don't want to have to pick up a controller when I fly and then put it down when I start walking. Like I don't know. Uh, let's see, how are we doing here? We need we need some food. We need some water. Where are we at? Level nine. We are almost level ten, you guys. We're almost able to actually get into this video. An hour and a half in. Uh, let's see here. 100. We need one more stone. Then we can make two stacks. Let's just go ahead and make one stack for now. Get that out of our inventory. There we go. One more stone. Um, mm, mm, mm. I guess we can just... There it is right there. Perfect. And then we hit six. Perfect. We got crooked stacks right here. Okay, all right. We're doing we're doing really good. So far it's been a stream. 
a fun stream of hanging out with you guys, but it's been a stream of just smacking some rocks. <laughs> uh, I have a uh, 2T1600M, and it's awesome. It's fun to, to uh, it's fun to see you find stuff out. I I I love it. I enjoy it because um, to me that that's how. I mean, that's how I can get my strategy is to always be genuine and to get like, like the honest reaction. And there is very few times, very, very few times I have seen something before. Like some of the ships I've toured, I had seen before, um, but it was because they like showed up on a, uh, a landing base somewhere and it, it, and I didn't really get on and like tour it. So I try to keep things like as genuine as possible and the little the the less I know about something the more genuine <laughs> the reaction is going to be sometimes it, it might be kind of annoying. Uh let's see. Uh let's see. Uh I want to make an angled adapter for the left stick. So I can use the twist for up and down thrust. Oh yeah. Dude, I've seen some legit stick setups where they got like they like got plywood <laughs> screwed onto their desk, and then I mean it's like janky, but it works. Um, <clears throat> uh, your innocent, honest excitement when you see things at Star Citizen is why I subscribed. Well, thank you, John. Thanks for being here. I, I really appreciate you. Seriously, do. And I'm glad. I'm I'm happy to hear that you're enjoying the content. Uh, because. You know, I, I want to be like what you see is what you get. Okay. There we go. We're still beating rocks. We're almost level 10. Uh, and... I don't know. Sometimes I'll watch like a... Uh, uh, board Gamer. And uh, Space Tomato. Space Tomato is awesome, dude. If you guys haven't seen Space Tomato, go check it. Go check out his channel. Just a good dude. And I recently started watching Sexy Biscuit. <laughs> oh my gosh. So funny. Um, okay, hold on. This is broke. Dude, this is the stream of shiny objects. You guys you guys get to see. This is the thing about the stream. You guys get to see like what I would normally edit out in videos. And that is the, the brain fart moments. That is the goodish gamer. That I'm, I'm, I consist of brain farts. Oh, we got another stack right here. And it's always like moving on to the next thing. And sometimes I don't even finish what I was doing first. And I apologize for that. I, I really try not to be that way. I try to be a little more structured. Uh, sometimes I do really well at it. Other times, not so much. Was that a wolf head sticking out of my storage? No, I think it was just a dust particle. <clears throat> um, I bought Star Citizen. Only played it once. Poor PC couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. Yeah, that that was that was me. I bought Star Citizen. I mean, I purchased Star Citizen for forty five dollars. I bought the Aurora like four years ago, and uh, I mean, I mean four or five years ago. But I couldn't play it, and I was so bummed about it. And then then I was playing through the uh, Scum series, which is a great game in itself. I love Scum. I, they're doing so much with Scum too. Uh, but I had to beef up my computer for editing my scum videos and then I was like hold up I just got a new computer let's go ahead and uh, revisit this awesome star citizen game and see if I can play it and I booted it up and the rest is history and then here we are now we're live streaming Icarus <laughs> uh that's right big F it's hard to get a GPU right now, too. Yeah, that's that's the only reason I went with pre-built. Because <clears throat> it was five weeks out. And I couldn't even get... Uh, like, I couldn't get one. Through Newegg, through Amazon. I mean, not Amazon. I don't really buy computer parts through Amazon. But, um, yeah, it, it, I, just, I just couldn't find it. Let's... Uh, did, you guys, have you, did, I, did you guys see this? Check this out real quick. Make sure there's, like... No wolves around me. But, um... Uh, I'm thinking... I'm still kind of testing this. The cooked meat in my inventory. It has 760 seconds left on it. Before it spoils. And I'm thinking that there's 20... There's a stock of 20 right now. And I'm thinking number 20 is going to spoil. And it goes to number 19. But I think it keeps the same spoil timer. Whereas this one here in the... In the... 
campfire has 1,560 seconds. And uh, if, if I bring it over here in its own stack, it retains the spoil timer from this origin, from the, uh, the campfire. But if I bring it over here and I stack it, oh, it only stacks to 20. Um, so if we eat one of these, but, but check, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they fixed it. Well, there you go. Okay, you saw it here first on this channel. You probably saw it somewhere else, but <laughs> it used to be that if you stack like fresh meat, a fresh stack, on an old stack, it would retain, it would take on the old stack's spoil timer. Doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Activate this. I think... Let's see, what time is it? 19? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, there we go. Perfect. And then we can turn off our campfire because 100%, it will burn down my place. The last stream, I like caught my, my wooden base on fire twice. Uh, yeah, here in China, it's de uh, a decent GPU is several months of salary. I mean, that's kind of here in the States, too. There was, um, like, I could sell my 1660 uh, G4 1660 right now for, like, double what I paid for it. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, yeah, the O Shiny and Brain Farts are enjoyable to watch. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, you should stop editing it out, in my honest opinion. I probably should. I'm still kind of learning. I mean, the channel's like three years old right now, but I'm I'm, I'm learning things with every video I upload. Kind of what works and what doesn't. Sometimes, um, like these moments right now where I'm just like, uh, um, uh, I, I try to edit those out of my video. Lately, I've been kind of keeping them in because it's less work for me. And I think it's more genuine for you guys. Uh, and uh, I don't want to appear like... I don't know. I, I don't ever want to become this content creator, YouTuber that's like unapproachable or like ha trying to show that I have it all together because I, I seriously don't. I mean, clearly. Watch literally any of my videos. <laughs> it's it's uh, apparent I don't have it all together. So anyway, um, yeah. I'll, I'm going to keep uh, keeping those things in. Little by little. Uh, this is my first time watching. Oh, 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 that's a rabbit. Oh, my gosh. I was looking at chat. There's a rabbit coming at me, bro. It scared me. I thought it was a wolf. <laughs> uh, this is my first time watching a thing. Dude, uh, just popped up on my suggested. So I clicked. Can say I'm upset. <laughs> upset that you got notified or upset that you're here watching? <laughs> Uh, is this the uh, use radar to scan the Aries mission? Yeah, it is. Um, I know nothing about it. We have one right here, one right here, and one right here. And I played last night for about an hour just to try to get ahead of things so we wouldn't uh, spend the whole stream like gathering stuff. And then we're doing that. We're spending the whole stream gathering stuff. Um, I see. Uh, can't say. <laughs> Typos, welcome to my life. No worries. Uh, I'm sure more people are here. Are fluent, fluent in typees? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fat fingering the phone it happens to me all the time. Okay. Um. So we let's see. Let, where are we at here? Um. We're almost to level ten. We're there. I should probably. Check on our oxygen. Let's just commit. Let's commit to it. Let's get a couple more 100 XP by felling some trees. These trees are growing back, too. Um, I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but uh, last night when I was playing, I was out here at night chopping down trees because I didn't have enough hide or leather to build a uh, bed yet. So I was like, we're, I guess we're, we're just working through the night. I had my torch out, and I lit the whole place on fire. A storm. A oh, flash storm? Okay, uh, we're probably going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to do this. Uh, repair hammer. Look at the clouds, you guys. I actually haven't watched that before. Look how much red is coming up on our, on our map. 
or on our radar. Oh, this is not gonna be good. So with this kind of storm, ooh, uh, this kind of storm, it 100%, you know what we should do? We should probably build a, uh, actually, let's get inside first. There we go. Um, we need to build, we need to build this stuff. Hold on, real quick, real quick. We need to build a fire whacker. We need to build a repair thing. Yeah, with the lightning, with the lightning storms, um, then they can catch things on fire. Oh, here we go, here we go. So now we sit here and wait to repair stuff. That was... Look at that. Oh my gosh, I was like, that was way too close for comfort. Now, I think we can, uh... Oh, there, okay, perfect. We do that, and then six, hold on, you guys. We can repair it, but it doesn't take away the burn texture. I Oh, that's, that's really cool, I like that. Um, <clears throat> you can actually sp uh, speed run that mission without a lot of build up. I finished with just a wood spear. Oh, really? Okay, great to know. So then after this one, can we, can we start another mission? I got to level 30, uh, on the third weekend in Icarus. So I kind of stopped playing. Jiminy freaking Christmas. Get out of here. Get whacked, fire. Dude, we're getting hot. We're getting hot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh. Not on my watch. I'm trying to read my comments here. Okay. <laughs> um, so, it's, uh, cool guy plays. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for being here. You came just in time. Lightning has struck my base twice, and it just struck, struck that tree right there. You want to go, bro? You want to go, God of Thunder? Probably shouldn't taunt him. Um, uh, let's see. Yes, you can do multiple missions. Yeah, I knew that the I knew that the um, the menu looked different. Okay, that is great to know. Thank you so much, dude. That is all lit up over there. So we're gonna do that. Um, we are going to right after the storm, dude. That guy's like, get me the frig out of here. Right after the storm, uh, we'll go. Dude, are you kidding me right now? I built in like the strike zone. What, wait, what? What am I doing? Oh no 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 no. Okay, okay. Dude, this fire whacker is legit. Like, <laughs> I don't know how it works. All right, sorry, cough edit. All right, so let's just um, let's go ahead and do that then. Let's go ahead and move on because I. I don't want to spend too much time. We can keep this guy right here. I didn't want to spend more time than I had to. Like, preparing, but I didn't really know what it was about. But uh, the menu did look like we could do multiple missions. So, all this is for nothing. Um, Level 9, we're going to tier 2. So, I do have a spear. We do have a bow and arrow. Let's make sure our, our arrows are good to go. GTG. Let's make a couple more. How can, how make, we can make four more. We are incredible. Because stone. Let's go ahead and do this real quick, and then let's go ahead and venture on out because I really wanted to to do stuff with you guys in this one. Uh, and then I've been stacking my stone and not keeping it in my inventory, but for now, because I don't have a full stack, let's just do that. And let's put our fiber with our fiber. We can do this little number. Right, chill. Right there, and then we can uh, number. Six, our repair hammer, we can stick it right there. Um, let's keep the tools together. There we go. And then put this in there. Get our berries going. Uh, put some wood right there. We can always get more wood and fiber and sticks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, to to uh to gather on our journey. There are uses for charcoal. We're not going to get into it right now. So let's just, uh, we have the radar on our back right now. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get rid of this thing too. I don't even know why I'm holding a thatch wall. Perfect. We're so, we're so good. Uh, and let's go ahead and repair this. We can't because I just literally put everything away. My gosh, you guys. Can't repair torches. And then we need to, actually, no, never mind. We don't need to. I was going to say, we need to keep our eyes open for uh, caves and stuff, but we're really not, really not going to advance. So this is kind of what I was thinking here. 
<clears throat> have you played the cycle? I have not. My first house, uh, my friend and I made, we burnt down. <laughs> Same. Same happened to me. Uh, we were building at night, and he was holding the torch. We were on top of the house and caught, and it caught me on fire. I burned myself when I was in a cave. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get out our weapons, and then let's see. Are we facing in the right direction? Can't really tell. I think it's maybe up this way. There are wolves around us, too, so we kind of have to be careful. Maybe this way? We need to get away. I can't really see on the map. We need to get far enough away from our uh, little pod. Oh, we need to gather oxygen, too. Oh, yeah, so it's right up here. Um, so, yeah, anyway, yeah, I burned myself quite a few times. I'd recommend taking a campfire, spawn point, and enough supplies to build a 1-1 one -one wood shack. That's a great idea. Um, this one, we can probably... I, sh I should heed your, your advice. Okay, that's a little, a little choppy right in here. Something is loading in, and I'm a little terrified of what it could be. Let's sit here for just a moment. Uh, we do spawn here in this uh, forest biome, so it's pretty good. We can get supplies pretty quick. Uh, then I caught everything I touched on fire, and we couldn't put the fires out fast enough. So I know that when I lit the forest on fire down there by my base, and it was coming at my, my cabin, I was like, no, please. I know if you, like, do this around stuff, you can prevent it from spreading. Ish. All right. Looks like everything's loaded in. We're good to go. Okay. Let's, uh... So it's just right up here. Now, I don't know if there's, um... So far, in the beta weekends, there's been, like, terrible creatures every time you get to, uh... You get to, like, an objective, right? You hit a button, and, like, it's the button that unleashes hell, and then all these crazy things come at you. <clears throat> I don't know if that happens this time or not. Uh, you should play Everspace. It's fun. I've, I've never heard of that. I'll have to look into it. Have you guys seen uh, coming out next November 2022? Uh, Star... Starfield? Is that what it is? Have you guys seen that? I know it's it's kind of a controversial. Some people are really excited about it. Others aren't so much. To, you know what I freaking should have done? That's what that's what I was waiting on. I was waiting to reach level 10 so we could build the crafting bench and I could get... Oh, I saw you, bro. That was a deer. I could get the... Uh... uh what do you call it? The water skin. Because we need water now all of a sudden. Let me gather up all this oxygen. Uh, we should hit level 10 here real quick. I can get that crafting bench. We can get a ox or at least some uh, a water skin made to bring with us. And then we should be good to go. I, I ventured out a little too soon. Black Panthers? Yeah. Oh, Black Panthers. Greg, are the Black Panthers in this one? Dude. Because that last Black Panther wrecked my face. I went back to wreck its face, and then a bear wrecked my face, and then I went back, and the panther was gone, and the bear was gone. It was terrible. Dude, all the oxygen has been right here this whole time. Well, it wasn't bushes uh, that were set on fire. It was just the ceiling tiles, like five of them. <laughs> if you can catch it in time, um, I'll show you when I get back there. I've noticed that uh, sometimes, like, with these ferns and everything like foliage if it burns it can be on fire for a little while and you can still pick it up yes level 10 we did it you can pick it up and uh deter the fire keep the fire from uh from spreading crafting bench that's exactly what we're after but also with your building materials you can hit uh i think it's you you can hit y and it breaks it down it sticks it back in your inventory so i'm wondering um, I'm wondering if when it's on fire, actually, I haven't tested it. I'm wondering if when it's not fired, you can hit Y and, like, take it down to keep it from spreading. So, like, right here, if I look at this and I hit Y, boom, it looks like it breaks it. But then if we go to our inventory, it's right here. And you can just five and place it back up. And, like, you don't lose material, you don't lose anything. It's, it's, it's awesome. So I, I tried to test that up here. I forgot what button it was, and I hit X instead, but my firewhacker had already put it out. So anyway, 
Let's uh let's go ahead and grab some water real quick. There's a little bit of a a little bit of frame rate lag right here. It shows up every once in a while in Icarus. And I think it's I thought that guy was going right in my base. I think it's Icarus. I don't think it's my computer. Uh let's see here. If we Tech tree. Oh, we have to learn it first, don't we? So right here, just right off the bat. Boom. Nailed it. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's go ahead and get the water skin online. The skin. Okay, so now, now I'm really curious. Um, The things I learned right now, are they going to carry over in our next mission? I wonder. I wonder. Okay, let's come here to crafting. <clears throat> Uh, they are at the downed satellites. Yeah, yeah, I found the panther at the downed satellites. This one is a scanning mission, and I don't know what we're scanning for. I don't know what, what's out there. Uh, Infinity Battlescape is a space game. Or I guess terraforming satellites. Uh, re region do you live in? Midwest? I'm central. I live in Texas. Your character doesn't reset points between missions. Okay, so that's great. Okay, thank you. Uh, we can... Okay, that, that that's awesome. I love that. Come here to crafting. Let's see what it takes to build this. We actually have everything. I kind of wish there was like a, uh, a key. Left shift will split stack, but I wish there was like a, a shortcut, like transfer where we can like... I want 20, I can just bring over 20. You know what I'm saying? That would be awesome. Uh, let's see, and I already forgot what it is. Story of my life. We need fiber, wood, and stone. Nope. Long keys. Here we go. And here's the stone. And here's the fibre. Come right here. Oh, not enough wood. That's what you think. Got wood. Right here. Boop. Crafting bench. <clears throat> Uh, is Icarus fun or not? Should I play it? Um, it, my honest opinion, uh, I love it. I love it. And to be honest with you, um, so maybe this will help. When I when Icarus first kind of came on the scene, I was watching other YouTubers play it, and it didn't. I was like, I don't understand how. I don't really understand the game. I don't really understand how like how it would be appealing to play and then um and I thought you know what I mean it's a new game it's upcoming I just happened to like be available on one of the beta weekends let me go ahead and buy it I started playing it and I fell in love with it and I, I can't I can't really pinpoint I can't really tell you <laughs> what it is about the game that I fell in love with the, the grind is real um but there's just something about it I am having a blast with it we need bone as well. So, I mean, it, it's ultimately up to you. Any game... I, I don't know. It's, it, it, it's up to you. It's, um... It's a, I'm having a blast with it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's see. If we hit zero now, and then we hit left mouse... Let's see. Hold the drink. Oh, left mouse button consumes it. That's right. Okay, so now we have water. We got a water skin. We got that taken care of. Um, that is up and running. We have... Um, we haven't found any iron or anything. <clears throat> Missouri? Awesome. Missouri's nice. I like Missouri. I'm going to get this game. I I mean, I, I, I recommend it. It depends on if you like survival games that are pretty grindy. Because it is grindy. My gosh. It does take a little bit of time, and that's why I started streaming this one instead of uh, instead of putting out videos. I, I originally started putting out videos on it, but then I was like, man, it takes so long to play the game, and it takes so long to edit the game. <laughs> I might as well just, like, play it live. Okay, so, real quick, let's, uh, that's doing pretty good. Let's, I just put everything away, and we should probably look at... Mm. So we have 47... Hide. We have all the leather. Oh, okay. So it takes leather. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this online too, real quick. Um, the 
that we need leather and bone. Leather and bone. And I feel like, can I, can we? One of the things I like about this is you can click this and when you craft it, it only pulls the number of items it needs that's required to make or to craft. See, it only pulls 18 wood, 24 and that. But however, like everything stays in my inventory and it is kind of cool that you can also stick everything over there and use it as storage as well. So I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'll stick wood, stone, stuff in there. Okay, so we have this guy now. Seven, and I think um, <clears throat> technically we don't really need this, but I, I like to be prepared. Fiber, we have all the fiber in Icarus in that one chest. So let's go ahead and make this. Can we make maybe just two of them? Or we're going to need some... Uh, Let's go look. I think there's some up here. It's sulfur, right? We need sulfur to fuel the thing. I'm pretty sure. I'm pr I think there's sulfur up here. <clears throat> um, Is it multiplayer? Icarus? Icarus is multiplayer. I haven't done it yet. I'm going to wait to do like... Uh, there's sulfur right here. I'm going to wait to do multiplayer until it officially releases. I think it'd be really fun to like open up a server. And y'all can come play too. I think it's... um. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's only four people per session. Base building at its core. I love base building. I'm not the best base builder out there. Um, <clears throat> like as far as planning, I te typically like will start building something. I'm like, look, I built that. And I'll start building onto that. And it ends up being like this just weird. <laughs> uh, just big structure and I always build like massive so I always build way bigger than I need so let's go ahead and put these guys right here right there come over here we've got this thing fueled we can go ahead and start filling this up it automatically fills it up so oxygen is now under control ish yeah we're out of oxide right there <clears throat> I love base building too I mean that was one of the things about um, Minecraft that I love so much the modded Minecraft it I love modded minecraft i think we've already talked about that but um i love storage solutions and modded minecraft <laughs> and power which i feel like should be part of like it, it should just be like built in natively to the game right because you have i mean i guess they did they did release some storage in minecraft but like you get like the applied energetics the computer in that with the hard drives and all this cool stuff and like these uh Auto crafters and everything. I love that stuff. All right, so right here, let's come right here. Let's take this out. Let's stick this guy in there. Oxygen is good to go right now. We can go ahead and stick that in there. We have a lot of oxide. We got enough fuel. Oxygen is taken care of. Water is taken care of. Uh, have you played Rust? I have not played Rust. I've always seen Rust, and I've always wanted to play Rust. It's like, well, I thought I, I thought I heard a, a wolf. Daisy, rough. Uh, Rust and what's the other one? Mist. Those I've always wanted to play. I've played about maybe an hour in total of Seven Days to Die. <laughs> but all those survival games, and I also played Scum too. Scum is awesome. And they're doing a lot of new things. But it's kind of like, um, oh, is it eight players? Okay, eight players. I <clears throat> can't wait to get stateside again. I've been stuck in China for the duration of it. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Do you know, is it, is there like an ETA? Is there a, do you have like a, a time frame where you get to come back? Man, that would be difficult. Okay, so we got water. We've got that. We have... I can't repair anything because I'm not prepared. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. Our food's looking good. We have oxygen. We got tools looking good. Now we can go ahead and head on out there. Um, I got to go. Greg, thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, thank you for everything. It was fun having you here. Uh, let's see. I love immersive engineering for power. Per uh, yeah, yeah. Immersive, immersive engineering. That's a good one, too. Um, I kind of was... Um, Ender I.O., 
and a lot of the R, what was it? Is it RF? Yeah, RF per tick. It's like the RF is where I really loved the the power, and then like the other mods started coming out, especially the newer ones, and they changed it to uh, what did they change the power to? There's like two different powers. There's RF and another one, and they they wouldn't like interact together. The time frame. Is getting my wife a green card. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool, cool. Icarus is not PvP based like Rust. No, it, it's not player versus player. It's player versus environment. And it is uh, mission based. Am I even going the right way? I'm talking to you guys. I wasn't even paying attention. That's kind of what I like about it. I like... um. I'm running through the woods with my pickaxe. <clears throat> we'll talk to you later, Greg. Again, thank you for everything. Thanks for hanging out. It was fun having you here. Have a great weekend. Dude, there is a... There's a billy goat up there, isn't there? Uh, sta uh, Stationeers has awesome base building, except it's super grindy just to build anything, and it feels like building just for the sake of building without any real goal. I mean... Th that could be Minecraft, right? I mean, like... Like, the, the goal of Minecraft is just to survive, and then, like, I would get, I'm not, I'm not even kidding you, I'd get millions and millions, are we going the right way? We are. Of, of materials that I would never use for anything, just, just to have it, and just to build it, and to auto-craft stuff that I would never use. I don't mind grindy games, that's one of the things I actually like about Icarus, I like, I like logging in and just doing grindy things. Okay, so here we go, you guys, um, we need... Before I pull the trigger on this, let's go ahead and get like a little base built because I don't know what's going to pop up. What in the... There we go. I don't know what to expect. Uh, so I'm, I just want to get like a little one by one made. That way we can at least like get in in case we need to to buy ourselves some time. I think we're in a zone, right? Yeah, we're in a zone. We're kind of smack dab in the middle of it. <clears throat> Industrial craft has its own power thing. Yeah, that, that's what it is. Industrial craft. But you could use like a... You could use like a bat box and like some kind of converter or something like that to, to kind of get RF to work with I... E, I, C, is that what the, the power was? But then, like, different mod packs, like different FTB mod packs and everything. Uh, Ender IO stopped being a thing. And it was, like, one of my favorite mods. And then that, I think that was one of the... The joining mods that allowed the uh, the conversion. I don't know. It was a whole thing. I, I love trying to figure all that out. Cough edit. I've never played Factorio or, uh, or, um, uh, oh gosh, what is the other one? I always kind of wanted to. Want to talk about a game that consumes me. <laughs> I have to go. You should play Everspace. Thanks for hanging out, cool. Cool Gap Plays. I appreciate you being here. Uh, have a great weekend. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'll I'll uh I'll check out Everspace. Ender IO is one of my favorites as well. Yes, and Draconic Evolution. Yes. Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That that was like that was modded Minecraft for me. Dude, you'd get the Draconic armor and you could fly and you're like lava proof, you enchant them. You had the Ender Chest which could which could like uh smelt things right then, like right there. You'd stick on some uh importers. Or exporters? I can't remember. And you bring it into your, uh, your, uh, your, your computer system? Dude, man. <clears throat> Satisfactory. That's the, that's it. Thank you. Uh, the game that consumed me the most was Space Engineers. 4,100 hours? Dude, Space Engineers is a lot of fun. I'm having, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Dude, I still haven't found... <laughs> what? 
What's the uh is it cobalt? What what's the uh what's like the 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 first ore you need? Okay, let's go ahead and get something built here. I'm just kinda like standing around talking right now. Uh let's see, Space Engineers is really fun. I'm ha I have a having a blast with it. I haven't played it in a little while. It doesn't do as good on the channel. And just because I'm so limited with my time, um I always feel like I should focus on what kind of does really good to optimize my time and what you guys are wanting to see so let's just go ahead and do a uh let's just do it let's just do it too because why not right six uh right there there we go perfect and then we need uh what is this two four six we need six walls we're out of wood no problem that's 170 days. Uh, that little purple chest for Draconic was super cool. Yeah, the Draconic chest. And then you could also get the... Uh, you powered it with Ender Pearls. And it was the it was a Draconic evolution. And it was like a, uh, a wand. It was like a teleportation thing. So you could always... Instead of using like Mistcraft and doing the whole grind with all the books. You could do the wand. You could just teleport back to... Uh, to uh, teleportation like the, the the locations that you set so just like mistcraft except it was just an item that you kept in your inventory and you could also use um, flux capacitors to charge your draconic evolution stuff with RF like RF that was the power source for me and ender IO that was a cool thing I could I would uh, use like in a uh, infinity evolved I would use a a lava generator I'd go to the the, uh, uh, what the crap is the nether, right? No, I'd go down there. I'd hook up my lava generator to, like, put it next to my lava. I would have an ender tank with a fluid valve on it. I would put my diamond on there to make it private. I would, uh, always do lapis. I'd do blue, white, blue for the pattern. And I'd have that go to my tank in my base. And I'd have that power, my generators there. And that would power, like, the... The query, the quarry, I mean. <laughs> and all sorts of cool stuff, dude. Yeah, yeah, I got some hours in Minecraft. Modded Minecraft. Monster was really cool. That was a great mod pack as well. <clears throat> Cobalt for Metal Grids. Yeah, Metal Grids is the one thing that's that's holding me up in Space Engineers. Let's go six. There's a wolf right there. Not on my watch, dude. Oh, you know what? Look. See? Now if we hit Y. If we do this before it breaks. This isn't structurally sound. We need, uh, we need another one of these. And then, uh... Oh, I had it. Right there. It's like balancing on these little beams. Let's just put these right here. Why not? Why would we not? Six, that should work now, right? Yes. Okay, now the floor, we just make two of these. I should have made two of those to begin with. <clears throat> uh, magmatic Dynamo from the Thermal Expansion. Use, yes. Uh, extra Utilities Drum. Yes, yes, yes. Bedrockium Drum. Yes. And then I would make those... Uh, I would, <laughs> dude, <laughs> we're talking Minecraft. I love it. I would make the... Uh, those XP farms, or like the mob farms, where you make like the dark, the, you just make a hole and you put the uh, redstone lamps with a lever so you could turn them on and turn it, so you could make it dark and you have like the, uh, what was it, the dark glass? Yeah, that wolf is right there. And it would just spawn things. You go get the cursed earth with the sigil. Isn't that what it was? Like the, the midnight, the, the full moon something, you get the cursed earth, you put it in there and you spawn everything. Did I forget a door? <laughs> no, we can hit Y and just do this and it puts it back in our inventory and it saves from, I don't know, it's it's a thing. I could make a door, we're gonna have to do this. And of course, oh, I made the freaking wrong. You know what I didn't do? This is a thunderstorm. Uh, crap. We should probably just make a fire whacker while we're here. God knows we're going to need it. Okay, five. Now, we have a fire whacker. We've got the uh, the wimpiest roof in the game I put on there. 
Magical Potato, hello. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of talking Minecraft in the Icarus stream. <laughs> but anyway, I would take the... Uh, I would have a drum set up. And I would have that vacuum. I can't remember what it is. And then we'd have the uh, the mob... Dude, what was that? What was that called, you guys? I, the, the division sigil for making unstable ingots and the angel. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, dude. We're on the same page. Uh, and then I would put a drum right there, and I would have a uh, a filter where I'd filter in liquid XP, and then I would filter in the the loot that would drop through a vacuum, and I would filter that back into my system. Um, you can break my ceiling because I'm just going to rebuild it with wood. Luckily, we got enough stuff. All right, because I built the uh, the little plebby thatch floor for a ceiling. <clears throat> Dude, I can't tell you how many times I blew up with the unstable ingots. But once you got the angel ring, game changer. And in the later mod packs, too, that you had the angel ring, but you had to get, like, the, the lava generators or, like, the, the fluid generators to generate enough power. And it was only done in a radius and all this kind of stuff. I think it was FT, FTB Beyond, where you had, like, the wireless uh, receiver, or the wireless terminal, right, where you could access your whole computer system from, like, a thousand blocks away. So cool. Yes, vacuum chest from Ender.io. Yes. And I would have it, uh, I'd have the mob grinder on a block, I'd have the conveyors pulling everything into the mob grinder. It would grind it, uh, you can make stabilized, unstable ingots? I didn't know that. Uh, I wonder what the likelihood of someone making a Minecraft mod for Icarus would be. That would be awesome. Honestly, that would be really cool. Okay, so hopefully this, we're still technically sheltered right now, somehow, we're not exposed to the storm, the red is almost over, and it's just a slightly red, we, did I not make the uh, repair hammer, no I didn't, we need four stones over here. Uh-oh. We can't get out because it must be repaired first. Okay, well, that's where the door would come in handy. So now we actually have to beat this one down. Let's see what you're saying now. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down now. Because now we got to axe our way through it. <clears throat> uh, so now we're exposed to the storm. I need to pick up a little bit of stone. And we can make the repair hammer, which honestly... Uh, there's a stone right there. We need literally one more stone. Ooh. <clears throat> I should have brought him with me. I made him. Oh, oh, dude, I didn't know. I didn't realize there was lightning. Okay, well, since I axed it down, then we definitely lost that wall. So we're going to have to do this. Grab this. Six right there. Repair. Go ahead and repair these bad boys. And then we need to put our roof on because we're still exposed right now. Actually, it's going down, but we're fine. Six. Wait, what the? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Hold on. Did it? Hold on. Did it put it out there? Sure did. Must be repaired first. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and repair that. Pick it up. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, now we can put this guy down. Five. Six. Uh, can I? I can place it right here, right? No, I can't. But we're not exposed to the storm anymore, so it's not a huge deal. Alright, that's fine. Uh, you have to make unstable nuggets. So you end up using nine diamonds per I got instead of just one. But then craft the nuggets into an ingot. Oh, that's crazy cool. Something else I used to do. I used to use the uh, reinforced... Is it a... Uh, was it reinforced 
obsidian where you put iron you put iron bars with obsidian that was a whole other thing I had like some uh I can't even remember. There's, I had like a lava generator. It it generated cobblestone, but if you put like some uh, card in it, it would generate obsidian that would run forever. I'd make iron bars. You combine those together, and you make like reinforced obsidian. I'd make that box, and I'd stick the um, the wither in there, and I'd just farm the stars. Who brought up Minecraft? <laughs> I think I think I did. I brought it up like three times tonight. Sorry. I, I just, I love Minecraft. <clears throat> hey, I'm considering buying Star Citizen. Is it a one-time payment or a monthly subscription? So it's a one-time payment. You can buy in for as little as $45, and you can just grind in-game through mining or doing different uh, missions and stuff, and then you can earn in-game money to buy in-game ships. The plus side to that is... Um, I mean, you're not spending real-world money for ships. You just have ships. You know, it's probably better just to repair it first, and I can just take it off. The downside to it is if, like, right now, 315's coming out, and they're wiping everything. Uh, everything that you bought with in-game currency, unfortunately, does go away and gets wiped. Not a huge deal, because they're, I'm, I'm going to buy a different lineup of ships this time around, so it, it gave me the opportunity to kind of buy some things in-game to, to realize what I want. And I can do it differently next time. Excuse me. I just burped. Um, but you can... I need to hydrate. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Dude. And my water's almost out too. We need to get this thing laid first. It must snap. Uh, but you can, you can subscribe through the website. For like 10 bucks a month, you get like subscriber stuff. So you can pay real money for it. Oh, here it is, right here. Okay, perfect. Uh, but I bought in for $45, and I... And, oh, don't crash on me now, game. Is something terrible about to happen, you guys? <laughs> Do you keep your money from the wipe? No, everything right now, like, especially going from 314.1 to 315, you lose everything in my... Well, from what my understanding, from what I hear, is we start back when 315 launches, we start back with the original, like, 5,000 credits. <clears throat> You'll see Ghost Red Art. Yeah, I found it. Um, thank you. I want to press F to interact, but I, I feel like it's going to start something, and then it's going to be terrible. There's water right down there. We definitely need some water. I need to eat. we got to keep this thing going, too. So you can... I mean, I upgraded my Aurora, which is where I first started with $45. I upgraded it to the... Um, What did I get, you guys? The Avenger? The Avenger... Press it. Okay. The Avenger Stalker. I thought I was getting the uh, the Titan variant, but I'm noob, and I got the uh, Stalker variant. So, 18% complete. So, this looks like it's just scanning. doesn't look like anything terrible is happening. Usually, the guy will come on the radio and scare the... Something happened to the radar. We lost oh, the you, yes! You gotta reactivate it. That's fine. I'll reactivate it. There's no big sandworm right here. Wait, hold on. You guys just hear something? Dude, I'm here. Sounds like you got company. Crap there's on been reports that wildlife don't like There's a bear. Oh my god, there's a bear. Run, 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 run. Sure looks that way. Where is he? Dude, I can't see. Something happened to the radar. Uh, something's the happening to me. I can't. Draw the bow, dude. I do. I can't see a thing. No, get the Get off me. Get off me. No. Get, God, you gotta be freaking kidding me, you dudes. Dude, I was running. I was holding down shift. Oh, that pisses me off so much. I was holding down shift, but I wasn't running. <sighs> that really infuriates me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that upsets me so much. At least we weren't too far into level 10. Crap on a freaking crap cracker. Okay. We can go out there and we can find my body. I don't know what the odds are of actually finding my body. Dude. Prepare for a bear. Yeah. I found him. 
Dude, that's so disheartening. At least we weren't too far into uh, level 10. Alright. Well, we need to craft. We need some sticks. I'm definitely going to craft up another bow. That's, that's my second time to die. This is why I use a knife. Is a knife better? <coughs> Excuse me. Sleep. Good call. Uh, let me start the fire. Is a knife better for the bear? I was I was gonna switch over to my uh, to my spear, but I didn't want to be uh, close proximity. I'm really wanting to buy the game. Uh, but tried the game for free during free weekend. The game just never loaded. Um, that could have just been the servers, the state of the servers. I started scanning at night. Yeah, I guess I did, didn't I? We are talking Minecraft. I wasn't even freaking paying attention. It's okay. It's all right. We'll go back there. I want to try to find my body, but we need to make up, we need to make some, uh, some arrows first. Just so I'm at least kind of prepared. Um, I think, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. They are, uh, level 7 bear isn't that tough. If you can see it to hit it, yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, we're, we're going to go back into it. Everything's going to be fine. We Now we need to get rid of... See, we're already getting rid of our our, uh, our red penalty up there. So, I think uh, this November... This November, my gosh. Now, at the end of this month, when they do the ship show, I think they're going to... Um, man, I really... I really hope we can find our body. If not, we're dying again. <clears throat> um, I'm counting on us finding our body. So then we can get our water skin back. Even though there's only one sip left. But then we can get our oxygen back as well. Let's... Ah, I didn't even craft. Anything is right up here. I don't know if the, uh, the bear stays around or not. When I did the uh, satellite in the last beta weekend. Or the beta weekend before. The, uh, the bear and the panther ended up just wandering off. So, it, there's a possibility that those go away. I probably should come a little bit more prepared this time, but I'm not going to. You can attack pretty fast with a knife. Uh, so, I feel it does better with stuff super close. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I think there's going to be another free play option soon. Try again then. That's what I was going to say. Thank you. Um, during the ship show here in uh, in November 19th, is that when it's starting? I think they said they're going to have a free fly there. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. I'm There's our there's our stand right there, so we're close. Unfortunately, I just heard the bear. Unfortunately, our body is like down some hill. We need to kind of go pretty quick because our food and hunger is going down. We can grab some berries. There's this guy. Let's go ahead and get some berries on us. Now we need to find our body too. Do I? Sixty-six percent. If I if I do this, is he just gonna come right back? I think he's actually still down here. What is this? Is this my body? Oh yes! Oh, you guys, we found it. I'm so happy about that. Okay. So Something happened to the radar. Dude. We lost the signal. Chill out, bro. Something happened to me. It. Let's go ahead and grab this. That's one scan done. I hear the bear. He's down there. So the scan is done. Okay, so do we leave this here then? Pack it up and head out. He said pack it up, but I have Whatever. Whatever. I'm taking it with me. We can always drop it if we don't need it. <clears throat> Um, I was next to a cliff. Yeah, I found it. I can't believe I found it. <laughs> I'm so glad I found it. Let's go ahead and head on back. Let's, uh, let's gather our thoughts. Let me get my pride back. Be careful, wildlife can teleport up, up cliffs like ninjas. Great to know. Thank you. Take it with me. Okay, I have it. I noticed there's two, there's also two of them in my, uh, in that box in, the, in my camp too. I don't know if that was intentional or not. When I logged in last night and played to kind of prepare for this, there was only one. But tonight, there's, 
There's two and one on my person, so we have three. It's a deer. Uh, and then this one is now done. Oh, but it didn't mark that it was done. So I guess really we can just use the same scanner. Uh, uh, man. I want to do a little bit better. I was kind of hoping to find a cave. Is this a cave over here? To find some iron so we can get like a... some Like an iron spear, iron uh, knife online. Let's go and make the better bow. <coughs> I wonder uh, if they were having issues with people losing the scanner so they provided more. Maybe. I thought it was kind of weird. There's only one in this crate last night on night one. And now there's two in there and one on my person. And then there's three markers on the map. So, I don't know. It's really weird. I don't know why I'm shooting a fish right now. I nailed it. It's always good to have a, a variety. Let's get out of the water. Oh, I dropped my freaking arrow, but the piranhas are going to get me and they're going to poison me. That's fine. We can make more arrows. I have a lot of arrows. All right, you guys. Um, <clears throat> I would try the free fly again. Uh, just, I mean, one thing about Star Citizen, dude, we have nine points. One thing about Star Citizen is there is, uh, there's always seems to be some kind of server issue at some point. Movement speed. Let's go ahead and uh, increase the base health. Oh, why would that not be maxed out? Tier two. Let's look at... There's a shovel? What do we need a shovel for? Okay, you guys, I'm just trying to see here. There, There's a better bow. Here it is, long bow right here. Plus 25% projectile damage. It's pretty good. It's a little bit heavier, but it's way... It's way better than this one. So. Uh, Alright. Let's look here real quick. Uh, let's see. Put this guy right there. So when I equipped everything, it didn't actually, like, stick everything back in its slots. Wood bow. Uh, seven. Fish gives you health regeneration, if I remember right. Or stamina. Um, I I think... Let's check. Let's look real quick. Plus 15 food. Much better cooked. I know if you stack it, like right now my health is like one bar, one long bar plus a little bar. When you stack your food, it stacks that bar. So, like, if we, if we eat cooked meat... It gives us three, but then if we stack it with berries, which was already on there, but if we stack like these two, it'll increase even more. And then we can make, we can even even make other stuff too. We can make bread, flat bread, and that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get into all that because it requires so much stuff. We need to make a uh, biofuel furnace or stove or something like that. Dude, my base is falling apart. All right, so let's um. That was a success and a failure all at the same time. <laughs> so we got oxygen under control. Let's go ahead and just refill that now while I'm thinking of it. Get that going uh, right there. Our water is out. Looks like this isn't available in my inventory when it's in my inventory? Question mark? Here we go. Maybe... You Let's leave one here, that way if we do die, then we can always come back and grab that as an emergency stash. I love that idea, goodish. You can make bread with a campfire. Oh, really? Oh. I didn't know that. I thought it was a... Uh, maybe it's a flatbread I'm thinking of. Alright, let's look here real quick. I want to make this bow. The long bow, which we can actually make right now because we are incredible. So let's do that. Let's take this guy and put him away. Bring this guy with us. All 
Oh, wait a second. That said longbow. You guys, am I, am I just dumb? No. <laughs> okay, I'm just dumb. It's, it's right there. Okay. All right. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We got it. There's the longbow. Um, let's go ahead and stick that. <clears throat> that, that, that. Ah, that's silica. <coughs> really try not to cough on you guys. Let's cook the fish. There we go. We have 99 arrows. We've got this. Let's go ahead and stick this in here. We need to go ahead and make it over. What the actual crap, dude? Dude. dude. Hey, hey. Dude, I need to switch over. When I need to switch over to my spear, but it wasn't there. My gosh. I'm a pro gamer, you guys. <clears throat> Don't forget my cooked fish. I'll grab it real quick. Also, I want to get a skinning thing online too, just to so we can stick these animals. Oh, it's out. Oh no, it didn't. I didn't I didn't light the fire. Seven. Uh this? Repair with one wood. Of course, I can't grab one wood. I have to grab... Wait. <laughs> Did I not just have, like, an entire stack of wood in my inventory? Let's go ahead and uh, split stack here. Grab 50 of that. There we go. Now we come here. Repair this. Repair that. Come right here. Right there. We have walls and everything. Repair this uh, from... Trolly troll. All right, cooked fish, right here. Got it. Now lower left, we've got 660 uh, seconds left on the meat. 360 seconds left on the berries. That's probably good. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Save our <clears throat> campfire. So unfortunately, we have to venture further out this way. That one's pretty far away. We may want to hit that one next and leave the closer-ish one uh, for last so I'm just trying to think you guys I'm trying to think of what I know we can like upgrade to I actually think we need to learn it why is it so laggy right now since we don't have any iron yet we haven't found any of that then uh, I think we can make a bone spear Plus 10 critical damage. And this is just like... Oh, plus 10% critical damage. We have a... Uh, huh. We have a lot of points. Have you played Valheim yet? Yeah, I did. I put out like 20 videos on it and nobody ever watched it. I played through Valheim. It was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with it, but it wasn't doing well at all. So I quit playing it. Um, let's see. It's a really fun game, though. Oh, I put the wood up here. Oh, that... Oh, my gosh, you guys. Let's go ahead and stick that right here. We do have a flower as well. A lily. We don't need a lily. I think it's used for... Infused sale of Icarus. It's a lily. Acquired unusual and uh, useful new chemical properties. We can make chemicals and stuff. We can make a... Actually, you know what? Is that something that we should look into? Antiparasitic. Blood thinning paste. Antibiotic. I think that was just my, uh, my meat. Getting done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Don't think I was subbed yet. I'll have to go check your vids out. Um, I have a lot of videos. I have like 245 videos on the channel and like 244 of them are mediocre at best. <laughs> so uh, we were talking about earlier. My uh, uh, my older videos, audio was really it was, it was a really big issue. 
Um, and I think I'm finally in a place where I'm, I'm getting it under control, so. Um, anyway, go check them out, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they may not be good. Let's, um, I kind of want to improve my weapons, but we don't have any iron. Let's at least, at the very least, let's make the bone knife. That way we have a little bit better knife, and we can switch to that if we need to. There's a bone knife, right? Stone knife? Yeah, the bone knife. Let's go ahead and learn that real quick. And we have all the bone. Uh, let's see. Craft, crafting this is... Um, oh, it's right here. Okay, so we need... <coughs> We need more wood that I, I keep putting back. I don't know why I can't keep up with my wood. What? <laughs> there we go. Right there. Nailed it. Water. Yes, I need water. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Thank you. There's there's a lot happening in this game, too, you guys. Um, oh, wait. Where's... Right there, there we go. Okay, perfect. Zero. Have to drink. So I'm wondering, you guys, we just got a parasite from... It's a parasite, right? From drinking. Does that mean that now... Oh, dysentery. Yeah, and a parasite. <clears throat> Does that mean that now my whole water skin is full of parasitic water? <clears throat> I wonder... Wolf next to the cabin to the north. Not on my watch. He'll come to me eventually. He'll stick his head through my wall. <coughs> Alright, I'm about... I'm about uh, <laughs> Words, I'm about to pass out. Y'all have a good night. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. No, just a random chance to get infected anytime you drink water. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> um, I'm thinking maybe with the longbow and now with the bone knife. I think we may be good to go. It's probably a good idea to leave some of my old gear here. Uh, just so if, if and when we die next, then we can always come back and start fresh with that. So let's go ahead and consume. There we go. I'm playing different than I normally play. I usually have, like, my food stacked right here so I can always find it. Like materials together. Do we have so many arrows? It's crazy. A fire whacker? Oh, man. A torch. I feel like uh, the the durability on that was way worse earlier. <clears throat> Can you boil water? John, I don't... Uh, not that I know of. I haven't seen anything uh, that we can boil it. And I think getting a parasite in here is just chance. I thought for a while it was like, if I looked too close to myself and drank, it seemed to happen more or closer to the shore where the water is like dirtier. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's like... Um, it's just a random, random chance that it happens. Um, I don't think you can boil the water. <clears throat> oh, you're right. I, I can build a, uh, a, a rain catcher. That might not be a bad idea. Um, I'm just trying to think, you guys. I want to venture out, but I'm kind of scared to not we died. I kind of got shy. <laughs> we need to go out there and we just need to scan it. We just need to do it. Um, I don't know if they're all bears. I don't know if they're all level 7s. I don't know if one is a bear, one's a panther, one's a a demon dog or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. We're, I, the only way to know is to, to go find out, right? So that's that. We can leave this back here. We do have our building material. Uh, let's go ahead and make... Before we go... I just make four of these. 
to bring with us. I didn't really use it last time. I guess we did. We 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 went through the storm with it. Two of these for the ceiling. I did not craft <clears throat> the uh, the roof pieces. Wait, did I? Oh no, yeah, well, no, we need four. Two for the bottom, two for the roof. And then six around there. Should be good. We could put the fiber back. Well, speak of the devil. We'll put uh, wood back. We got our fire whacker. We should be good to go. Bone and this stuff, we can. We don't need that on our person. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Here. The bear trauma? Yeah, seriously, dude. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> it's seriously keeping me here. Uh, a pro tip. Get the scan lo... Get to the scan location. Build a one-by-one -one hut next to the radar. Set the spawn point. Oh, that's genius. So... Dude. That's why I love you guys. Uh, every one of you is smarter than me. Um, so we need a uh, fiber stick and fur and leather. So we need fiber stick. I said those wrong. It's fine. Fur and leather. We could build this. Craft. Now we can bring this with us. Update the spawn point there. That is genius. There's so many stars to this in videos too. I'll be playing and I'm like, yeah, we did this and we did this. And then you guys are like, you can also, <laughs> you can also do it this way. And then my mind gets blown. I'm like, <laughs> How did I not think of that? <clears throat> Take a sleep sleeping bag. I got it. That is a pro tip. Thank you so much. Uh, very helpful. So we have we have winds. So we're definitely gonna need to have this guy ready to go. Winds are, are no joke. Um, I kind of miss my stone structure, but I'm not gonna take the time to to build one right now. I want to get these scan locations done, and I'll probably call it quits for the night. We're already at about three hours. It's gonna be a longer video or a longer stream. The last stream was like it was like over four hours. <laughs> Take a campfire too. Okay, you got it. I think. Yeah, good point. Cause we need the campfire to sleep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The genius just keeps. The, it just keeps happening. I see fiber stick and stone. Is that enough stone? No. Not even with all this is it enough stone. Okay, high winds are just about to come in. The red up there. Oh, that's that one little pesky little thing. Okay, so that's the, uh, the stone sticks. <coughs> sticks fiber I really wish uh, I really wish we could like specify how much materials we want to take okay oh dude look at that you guys look on the top right the red is coming up and that definitely does damage to the base. I haven't seen black yet or like that deep, deep red that's coming up next. That's going to do some serious damage. I might like straight up take my walls off. Before I even have a chance to uh, to repair them. Yeah, look at my health now. It stacks. <clears throat> like Valheim. And then we can get better food items too. Cooking is still coming. Actually, wow. Uh, oh my gosh, no, I say that. I was gonna say, while the while the storm is happening, let's look at some stuff, but no. We take our eyes off of this. Dude, it's game over. <coughs> and this is just kind of like chasing your tail, right? You repair one, one damages. Oh, cough. And it's probably better to build the roof anyway, instead of using a floor, but... That wasn't too bad. But this dark section coming up. Ooh. Okay, I want to check real quick, see if he's added any more uh, food. Because he had a lot of recipes. And cooking... 
uh, was it talents? It was talents over here. Coming soon. There's still a lot coming soon. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's going to be really cool to see what the end product is for Icarus. <clears throat> oh, I'm nervous, you guys. This dark section coming up. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Here we go. <laughs> I hate how it takes half of my stamina to repair something. Walls are looking good. Here we go. Here it comes. We're in it. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's, it's, it's not even letting me uh, hammer. There we go. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Luckily, it's like this tiny little sliver. Goodness gracious. That doesn't happen with stone. I miss I miss my stone structure. All right, that's fine. So uh, let's go ahead and um, get our stamina back. <clears throat> you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. This is fun. I'm really having a blast with you guys. Thanks for being here, dude. This wall, this wall got this wall got it too. I didn't realize the walls got it. I guess when the ceiling goes, the walls go. It makes sense. All right, we should be good for now. Let's um. Let's not carry this with us. If, no, let's go ahead and carry it with us because we're going to need... We're going to need it for when we build a structure. We can leave the wood here. We have the walls. We got this. We need to build a campfire. That's what I was working on. Crafting campfire. Craft it. We're going to keep our campfire here just so we always have it. Um, and that's right there. There we go. <clears throat> so this is our building stuff. Our food... This bad boy. Arrows, uh, thought, thought. All right. <clears throat> let's go. Our experience is still hurting. <laughs> from, uh, let's go ahead and let's fill up our water too. Our experience is still hurting from when we died. We still have to ga gain all that back, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm getting a text. Oh, no, 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 it's not a text. Some comments on today's video. <clears throat> I'll look at those in a little bit. I always try to be pretty uh, proactive with my comments. Okay, let's see. Where are we going real quick? Usually, if... We're heading back this way. Usually within, like, the first 30 minutes to an hour after I release a video, I'm pretty active on the comments. Um... And I try to respond whenever I can. You know, we need to head all the way out here. <clears throat> am, I, am I forgetting anything, guys? Take a drink real quick. In real life. <clears throat> I don't think so. Oxygen. That's good. It's good enough. Our food's a little low. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Where even am I going? Hold on. Dude, I can't, I can't see, I can't see my character when I'm this close to my, uh, my drop pod. <clears throat> there we go, okay, it's out this way. And we're off. Into the unknown. Should probably keep... <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. We should probably keep, uh, keep an eye out. Northeast... Not southeast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got it. Thanks. Um, keep an eye out for some uh, some caves as well. I, I have yet to make guns in this game. I really want to. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stream this again tomorrow night, but I'm definitely going to play it. Or I'm going to try to play it anyway. I say that. I don't want to promise anything. I want to try to play it. 
tomorrow night because um, the way the beta weekends have been going, and I, I'll have to check to see if it's true for this one too. Oh, I wonder if the bear's still down here. <clears throat> they say it'll be like from a Saturday to a Sunday, but actually they, they release it on a Friday. Oh, don't break my leg. You know what we should look into? They release it on a Friday and then um, and then go through like a Monday. So I always try to play as much as possible. Because I have yet to really make it very far in the game. We should probably make this basic bandage. This will stop bleeding um, for when I... Oh, 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 don't freeze game. Don't freeze. For when I inevitably like jump off of something I shouldn't have and then break my leg. Or when a bear or a uh, bear... Dude, look at this. Inevitably bite us when we start bleeding out. I think that helps with that. So let's go ahead and come here. Let's drink some water. Refill it right here. Perfect. We're doing really good, you guys. I'm feeling good about this one. <clears throat> uh, Nick Ash? I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name. Hi, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. We're just doing some Icarus here on the Beta Weekend 6. And we're doing the... Uh, the scanning mission. I should probably have. You know, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the knife. We're going to scan our second scanner. I died to a bear the first one. Um, of course. I've seen two bears in the game. I think I've only seen two, and I've died to two bears. So yeah, we're on a roll there. Um. And this mountain looks like it's right here, and it looks like that's where... Oh, look at him. A 29 deer. A large deer in his natural habitat. Oh, uh, okay, let's see. I keep saying I want to look out for caves, but I don't think we're going to get that far. Because caves would only be used uh, to get... Iron. <clears throat> Dude, do we need to come around this mountain? And we only have two more things to scan, so I don't even think we're going to get into iron. To be honest with you guys, I don't even think I'm going to get into wood. If we if we take too much longer... That mountain, is, that mountain is so cool, isn't it? If we take too much longer, then, uh, then we may run into a situation where... But the storms keep getting worse and worse, and the stone structure would be really good to have, but I don't, I don't think we're going to do that. <clears throat> I think we're going to finish this one off. Yeah, we got to make our way around this whole mountain. Thanks for having me. No, no thank you. I, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, follow mountain north, then turn east. You got it. <clears throat> you got it. Let's uh, let's drop down without breaking a leg. Of course, I say it, so that's the one thing that's gonna happen, right? Ooh. Okay, no, 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 we're we're fantastic at this game. There's a nice surprise on your way <laughs> to the southwest scan point. Are you kidding me, dude? Should we... Was that a bear? I never know if the deer or bear. They sound just like bear to me. Do I need to, like, actually get into, like, heavy weaponry for this surprise? You have me all scared now. Especially, especially ending it with that smiley face. <laughs> now I'm terrified to go to the south one. All right, whatever, we're going. Get wrecked! Dude, that was epic. That was epic! We'll leave the bone. No fur. I haven't seen any caves yet. Oddly enough. Uh, nope, it's a nice surprise. Oh! Okay. Oh, dude. Frames. My kingdom. For some frames. So the game runs super smooth until it doesn't. And it always seems to be like... I don't know. I don't know if something just loaded in. It's just for like a short period amount of... Period amount of time? For <laughs> for just a short amount of time. 
And then it comes back and it's buttery smooth. I hope it's as smooth for you guys as it is for me. Oh, look! The deer fam with the little rabbit. Um. Well, that's a, a definite death. Let's come around this way. It's going to funnel me into a bear, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, the frames are a little... They're a little... Uh, they're a little slideshowy over here, aren't they? I don't know if it's doing it for you guys or not. The bitrate, the stream looks really good. I have an excellent connection. It's uh, it's it's on my actual stream. Oh, look at this. Okay, we're getting close. Is it on the other side of the water? This. Oh, is this is this is the uh, this is the water, right? This is uh, the body of water with, yeah, right there. If you go down, right there, there's a cave with iron and all sorts of cool stuff in it. You want to go, bro? I didn't think so. There's a wolf right there. You guys see him? Dude, what? The, don't do that to me, deer. I'm hunting. Uh, hold on, you guys. I saw... I saw... Dude. Was it a wolf or was it that chamois guy? Is that what they're called? Chamois? It was a wolf, right? Yeah, right there. I was feeling really bad because they sit down like dogs and I love dogs. Uh, game has been pr improving over the betas. The first weekend they did zero optimizations and they they build it on an i9 with a 3080. <coughs> um, I I'm impressed by the game. I'm impressed by the developer. I think his name is uh, Dean. Is that what it is? I'm really impressed by the game. I, I that's just a, it's a really good game. It's really cool. I know once it fully releases, these are, I mean, these are beta weekends, so these are for, for testing and everything, so. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining about a little bit of dropped frames here and there. Oh my gosh, dude. What is that, like, 95% accuracy in this stream? Um, we should probably skin this guy and get his bones because uh oh i should be doing it anyway to get my arrows back but actually I actually have a lot of arrows it's probably bones to repair a bone knife right let's just check real quick nailed it <clears throat> all right so we are very very close and i'm really excited to see um i, I kind of would have thought by now they would have added uh, in the vehicles, because if you watch the trailer, if you guys haven't watched it, go watch it. Oh, there's the buttery smooth, just, smooth, and it's just all of a sudden, and that planet, I still can't get over that planet. There's just some things. It's one of the things about Star Citizen, you guys. I just, I look up, and I'm just like, sometimes I'll just stand there. You guys get the edited version, sometimes you get the montage version. In real life, I'll stand here, and I'll just be like, dude, those are like the best placed pixels I have ever seen. Uh, hello? Alright. <clears throat> We're here. We're here. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the location. There's a large deer. And I don't know if it... I don't think it shows the readout. I'm not going to pick up that oxide. I don't know if it shows the scanning location. And, unless we pull out the actual scanner. So let's go do that real quick. Um, let's look for the ghost scanner icon. Dude, we're like on it. Do you guys see it? <clears throat> Absolutely bad for stream uh, to stare endlessly at a beautiful vista, but something worth doing. Yeah, here it is up here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's how I spend a lot of my time in Star Citizen. So let's place this. Let's not start it just yet, because I think that's what actually triggers it. Let's come back here, clear my throat. Six. Place that down. Uh, here. Uh, let's just do this then. Yeah.
get all prepared. Right there, there we go. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, eight. I brought enough to make a two by two, but we're just gonna do one by one. Actually, <coughs> so I'm so sorry. Um, I mean the bedroll does fit in one. Yeah, it just sure does. Okay, perfect. <coughs> oh, 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 oh! I always forget that you press it once to place it, and you press it again. Uh, there. Six. We'll put it right there. Should be close enough. I think they extended the uh, the distance required. 18.6. That should be enough to, like, burn us through the night. I think they extended the uh, radius of the campfire. So we can sleep with it a little bit further away so we don't need to, like, burn down the place. That is pretty close. It should, it should be fine, though. We're just going to sleep one night. Because it is getting dark, so we're definitely going to sleep before doing it. Um... And we finish putting up the walls. Right there. Right there. Actually, not there. And then seven there. There. And then eight. <clears throat> there. What a beautiful little place. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. Carbon, welcome back. Yeah, I'm still live. Yeah, we're uh, we're on the second scan. We scanned this one. We're coming up to here. We're about to do this one. We're going to sleep the night away. We're going to do it. And then um, we're going to come down here and do this one. We're probably going to call it quits for the night. And I want to try to do some more tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, we should do this real quick. Let's come here and let's uh, hold this at spawn point. That is genius. Like that's, That blows me away. That is like next level smart. Um, and I hate to say, I hate to admit that I probably wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> I probably would have done this like 12 times going back and like running all the way back. Uh, let's see here. If we... I probably should just chop down a tree, right? It's still light enough to chop down a tree. I want to chop one down that, that possibly can't fall. <clears throat> On my uh, my house, this one should be good. I haven't tested yet either. If this is like the forest, where like where the direction you're facing, or when you chop it, you can jump and push into it, and that's the direction that it's gonna fall. The tree, I haven't tested that out yet. I I don't know if we can like decide or choose which direction the tree falls. So. Yeah, I think I was talking about it a little bit earlier. Um, I'm really curious to see how the end game is, or the final gameplay is, like what the gameplay loops are. We we haven't seen uh, vehicles yet. I want to see some vehicles. I want to look at getting into that. I don't know what's going to be fuel. I mean, can we have biofuel vehicles, maybe? Possibly, probably. Uh, let's use wood instead of sticks, just so we're, we're guaranteed to get a good burn right there. It's like a good workout. Feel the burn. You come in here. <clears throat> Eight. Nailed it. Eight. And then let's just sleep. Wake up. Perfect, you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this off. Oh, 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 let's put this out real quick. It just makes me nervous. Let me keep the wall off. Yeah, uh, just in case we need to run in there in case of an emergency. Uh, let's see. Uh, you forgot the door again. <laughs> Tree falls opposite the direction you chop. Okay. Always. Okay, good to know. I'm kind of thinking, you guys. I'm kind of thinking, as soon as I start this... We haven't had a weather event. Um, I think we're just going to start it. And... And then he's going to be like, oh, looks like we got company. And then like a T-Rex is going to come out of nowhere and wreck our face. I'm going to sit right here and then wait for the bear or panther or whatever it is to stick his head through the wall. And we're just going to smack the ever-living snot out of it. Bear can go through open wall, but not open door. Something happened to the radar. Oh. We lost the signal. You got to reactivate it. I'm going to. Chill out, bro. Oh, looks like you got some company here. <laughs> 
All right, I think we're good. And then it's gonna, something's gonna happen to the radar again. <clears throat> you, got you gotta be kidding me, you guys. Get sheltered. Get sheltered. And quick. We okay? We have a fire whacker. <laughs> okay, good, good. good. Was that is that part of this scan? Is the weather event? Or are they gonna do a scan are they gonna do a weather event and a freaking trolley bear? Oh, but this one's 80%. We're doing really good on this one. I think we're good. Oh dude, if this thing catches on fire, we're gone. We are enclosed. Cool gas place, welcome back. Thanks for thanks for coming back. Thanks for hanging out. This, this, Okay, so the scan is complete, and it says pick up radar. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Three, go. Oh, don't fry me. Oh, don't fry me. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Uh. Did I pick up my bed? Um, surprise second radar spawns a storm okay okay it, so that is it and we got two big red things coming my way oh my lanta here we go you guys <clears throat> when this catches on fire we're gonna heat up super oh my gosh be a better gamer goodish oh consume stack no <laughs> oh man I did not mean to, to click that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to heat up super quick. We're going to catch on fire. Our bed is gone, you guys. So we don't have a spawn point. <clears throat> okay, one more little red strip and then we're good. And then we get to make our way back down to the southern one. We get to see what this uh, pleasant surprise is. So overall, you guys, we only died once so far. <clears throat> I mean, who knows what the uh, the third one's going to trigger. And that one will be the T-Rex. Or the Giganotosaurus or something. Or a Mosasaur that crawls on land. <clears throat> uh, but overall, it's a successful stream. We only have one more thing to scan. And then we can, uh, we can head back up. And I love... Oh no, we're fine. This is great. I love that we can uh, we can do other missions too. Storm exposure, it's fine. It's going away, going, 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 gone. Perfect. Still not entirely sure what happened to my bed. Uh, and there we go. There's my posts. <coughs> By the way, Pleasant Surprise is uh, one of those aforementioned beautiful vis- Oh! Cool. Okay. Um. Well, look at this guy. He's like, I'll sit here and wait for him to show up. Is this guy laying down? He sure was laying down. My god. Anybody else? I don't think so. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and grab this. Um. Let's see. Because I've been late <clears throat> to uh, most of these events, did I pick up the? Uh, yeah, we got it. We got that. Let's go ahead and um. Wait, what? I could have sworn there was water right there. That's, that's not water right there. Um. I've been late to most of these events or the beta weekends that I've missed out on a lot of stuff so I didn't ever get to see the Arctic I didn't ever get to see the uh, the uh, what the desert the last one I played it for four hours but I never got I never quite got into the desert there we need to uh, where even am I going my gosh dude there's water over here we need to refill our water skin all right, you guys. Wow, we are making it back. Stamina is a uh, is a thing to be 
wanting for sure. Do we have, we got four points left. Is there like a, it's increased movement speed, increased to base movement speed. Is there a, there's a reduced oxygen rate. Reduced hunger, we'll do that a little bit. Reduced water, that's all good stuff to have, right? Increased swim speed. We don't really do a lot of swimming. Let's go ahead and max that out. We're out of points. We can uh, we can get the next the other points when we level up next. We should probably be doing this with everything we see to continue leveling up. <clears throat> Give me that. That's my arrow. The audacity trying to take off with my arrow. Hated the Arctic. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking forward to it, but it would have been cool to see. It would have been cool to see the, uh, the uh, mammoth. Let's see, we, we came up northeast, so that means that we go home southwest. Okay. Uh, but you're supposed to uh, love the desert. The desert looked really cool, and I, I really wanted to get into it, but when I got to the cave, and it was like, oh, surprise, you need a, like, biofueled freaking drill. Um, I just, we, we weren't, we weren't anywhere near it, so... That didn't happen, and that was the that was the stream that took my voice. <laughs> if you watch it, it was a four-hour stream, and I started off with like I got a little tickle in my throat, and by the end of it, I couldn't even talk. It was great, and then here we are today, about two weeks later, <clears throat> still clearing my throat. All right, so this is what, dude, don't even, we were on the other side of this rock. This is where we built on that stream. We built a big um, stone structure. I'm going to go ahead and come here and uh, fill up our water. Oh, we picked up a stone. We didn't fill up water. We, we picked up a stone. Now we filled up water and then consumed a parasite. <clears throat> Gotta love it. We could have cut through the water. I don't want to. The, we know it's here now. So this body of water right here is the lake that contains the iron. What? Uh, yeah, so we're coming this way. Oh, are you kidding me? Another weather? Dude, you guys, we just had a weather event. Um, <clears throat> You know what we could do? We could go down there in the cave, really, and wait out the storm. Since we know it's here. This I think this is the I think this is the the water. Let's go ahead and try it. I love that we don't lose oxygen here. Get wrecked. I'm not even gonna pick up your body. Oh, oh. Little troll. All right, I think it's I think it's right here, cause uh, <clears throat> I um I had these little flowers as the markers. I think it's right here, ish. Yeah, we are exposed to the storm. Here it is, right here. Perfect. Okay. This should be good. Look how many buffs and uh, nerfs we have down there. My gosh. Yeah, storm exposure is gone. We do have a torch, so... We're actually perfectly safe down here. That was very fortuitous. Okay, um... Re uh, reduced O2... Is in the solo section, if I remember. Okay, so do they... Can I use that in conjunction with the other ones? Do they stack, or is it like either or? Do I have to be playing solo for that to work? <clears throat> Here we go. So absolutely zero storm exposure. <clears throat> we do have the darkest cave of all time. That's a little terrifying. We might as well just grab some iron while we're here. I mean, why would you, why would you not? Let's go ahead and uh, Q, drop it right there, far enough away to where it doesn't kill me. 
I do public speaking for a living. Highly, highly recommend hot drinks. If you're going to uh, speaking nonstop for a while, coffee, tea, whatever. So I've been drinking a lot of echinacea tea with um, honey and apple cider vinegar. It's um, solo only works if you're playing solo. If you play with another player, it turns off. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Um, I have been drinking a lot of hot liquids. My wife drinks tea like it's going out of style. I'm not really a tea drinker. I love, I love my coffee. Um, just straight hot black coffee. So that works too. But since I since I lost my voice and I was getting uh, kind of sick, <coughs> um, then uh, I started drinking tea. Public speaking. Is that a fun gig? Do you like it? I mean, if you're doing it, I would assume you like it. That would terrify me. I talk to you guys, but usually it's like all edited. The live streams are I actually have a lot of fun with the live streams. It's not really public speaking, so I'm not I'm not comparing it. But it is thinking on the spot. <clears throat> and I don't prepare anything. I don't script any video. I don't like I don't do any any I should, but I don't know. Um I'm showing There it is. Whatever. It's fine. We'll see the storm is not passed yet. It's still uh still coming up. Got some copper right there. We don't we don't really need copper. Uh, you get used to it. Largest crowd I've spoken to is 2,000 people. Wow. Wow. Much respect. Like, seriously, that's impressive. You're, you're a legit speaker then. <laughs> All right. I think I took a... Um, a Toastmasters class like years and years ago <clears throat> but on average is 50 to 100 people that's still a lot of people I mean if you're on my level that's like you put me in a you put me in a room with 50 people and it's like talk <laughs> um, I'd probably do I, I just I wouldn't do well so much respect Okay, the storm is about to pass. <coughs> so I'm reading through some, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love reading through my videos, uh, comments. <laughs> the Starfarer video I released today, or I guess technically yesterday now. I couldn't get it to fly, I couldn't get it to take off. Someone said you left the handbrake on. <laughs> Anyone can do it, frankly. Uh, in fact, that's what I do. I give seminars on how to be good public. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually, that's a really good skill to have. <clears throat> um, I think we're good to go, you guys. I think we're, I think we can dive down here. All right. So we lucked out getting really close or uh, being really close to this cave when the uh, storm hit. We got a level four rabbit up there.
All right. We're almost done. I always I always tell myself, like, I always plan on, like, let's stream for, I don't know, let's, let's hit a goal for three hours. Let's see, we went northwest, so we need, no, we went, we went north. East, so we need southwest. Yeah, okay. And then three hours comes and goes like that. Precisely, it's a skill. 100% it is. Yeah. Anyone can learn it, improve it, and become good at it. I agree. I completely agree. And I got this piranha chewing on my, my butt cheeks. As we're talking about public speaking, I never thought that would happen in my life. There we go. All right, um, so we're heading in the right direction. I think I'm just gonna like beeline it straight for the next. I really wish I knew what was coming up, but I kind of don't want you guys to tell me because that's part of, you know, that's kind of how I play games. I like to experience things. I'm also kind of a, a person I like to strategize. I I don't do very well with spontaneity. Spot, is that the right word, spontaneity? Uh, being spontaneous, I can, but I like to I like to know what's about to happen, which is really weird. And that's how I am in my life, and that's how I am in my work. But when it comes to the games, <laughs> I'm like, don't tell me anything. <clears throat> uh, in fact, I think what you do is more difficult. Since Rona, I've had to do a few Zoom seminars over internet, especially. Uh, without voice feedback from the audience is so much more difficult. It it really is. Um. I, I don't. I don't know if it's m more difficult. I haven't really done public speaking. But um, it, it's definitely difficult. I mean, I put myself out there in every single video. And not a lot of feedback. Sometimes the comments are really helpful. But, um, I, uh, y yeah, you know me, uh, even right now doing it live, we don't get that eye to eye contact to, to play off each other. And there's so much that gets lost in text, isn't there? Like someone can say something and if the punctuation is off or even if it's correct punctuation, uh, punctuation, then it, it uh, it, it can still get lost in text. So it's, it is, it is very difficult. Okay. Large deer, we're fine. But I mean, I've I've been blessed to find like the the coolest people on the internet that watch my videos, so <laughs> <coughs> Even when I don't have a voice. All right. Our stamina, it's cuz our food is down. I was going to say our stamina is trash. That's raw. Let's not eat that. Um, you know what, you guys? I left. That's fine. Our bed, ro our our bed roll disappeared, but we did leave our campfire back there. Whatever. It's all right. In person, you can easily gauge audience interest level by body language alone and adjust your performance accordingly. Yeah. It you, you hit the nail on the head. Um. Okay, I thought that was a wolf. Yeah, but, but, um, with YouTube, it's kind of like, uh, uh it, it's a lot. YouTube, I've, I've discovered, not YouTube as a platform, but like being a content creator on YouTube. It is so much trial and error. I've done, <clears throat> because you don't get that feedback, and I can't watch people watch my videos, and then uh, I can do Premiere where we can watch them together, but even then it's like, we're just hanging out in the comments. I've done videos where a 30 minute video took me six hours to edit, because I put in sound effects, I put in zooms, and <laughs> transitions, and like, went way overboard. With the edits, trying to keep it, like, engaging. And I've done ones where, like, I barely edited anything. And I did other ones where I cut out every single um and every single breath. It's just it's just trial and error because there, there's not that feedback. <clears throat> uh, and then 
Where even are we? We're back at this scan location. Okay, okay, so we're halfway... We're halfway back. Our food's looking good. Water's okay. I mean, our food and water is okay. It's going down a little bit. We did increase the, uh... The points. To slow the drain, but I don't think... Dude, we're cold? Oh, is it still an effect effect left over from uh, swimming? I don't think what we did, I don't think the points that we put into it are enough to really show. Until we get to the, like, level 2 or level 3 of the stamina drain. Or, not the stamina drain, the... the this, reduced thirst. Yeah, 10%. It's a decent amount, but I don't... I don't think it's going to uh, show up right away. <clears throat> Alright, let's just, um... We need to make another bed. I've not been killing anything. I've not been doing anything to increase our levels, so we're still in a deficit with our... XP... Keep it simple, stupid. Yep. Yep, that's right. People watch game videos particularly for the game, um, but mostly for the person playing the game. Showing individualized personalities is key. I agree. When I started, I was like... <clears throat> Did I just run over a wolf? No. <laughs> I was like, people don't care about me. They don't want to see me. They want to see a game. So I tried to showcase the game a lot. Um, and it took me a long, long time. And I, 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 Sometimes I think I'm still working on it. There's days where I'm sitting there recording. I'm like, dude, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know how to YouTube. It took me a long time to find my, like, my true self. And it's really weird. It's something that, that, this is my story anyway. I can't speak for all content creators. But for me, it really forced me. Yep, I heard you. It really forced me to kind of, like, question and find out who, oh, get wrecked, dude. To find out who I am, like what? What's my voice? Wh what's my brand? Who am I? Like what? Like, because I don't think I don't think people can keep up a persona. You know what I mean? Like, like if you're faking it, I, I just don't see that being. I don't see it lasting very long. So I didn't want to put out this persona like I, like something I'm not. But then there's also the intimidating factor that you know I'm putting myself out there. What if I'm not good enough? What if you know, what if, what if, what if, what if, all this kind of stuff. <clears throat> so it took me a long time to get comfortable with, I guess, who I am. And then, and then actually learning, relearning who I am. And just running with it. Prodigal, what's up? How's it going? Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> Goodish Gamer is the brand. People watch. <laughs> uh, the game you're playing Elsewhere, people watch for you. Yeah, and uh, that was kind of like the the creation of the Goodish Gamer was like, I don't want to... I, I, just, I felt like at the time, and I don't know, at the time this is how I felt. When I was creating the whole brand and everything, which still needs a lot of work. But when I came up with it, it was like, I feel like every single video was like, how to be the best, how to 360 no scope, how to, you know, get your KD spread this, how to... It was always like, how to be the best. And I couldn't relate to those videos. Because I would play, I'd try to be, you know, Mr. Fruit playing Call of Duty. And I couldn't get the kills he was getting. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do me. I'm I'm not good. I'm not great. I'm, I'm good-ish. <laughs> and, that, and that's how the brand came. And I was like, I'm going to represent the underdog. <laughs> You just found my channel? Well, welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for spending your, uh, uh, I guess my time. I was going to say Saturday night, but now it's Sunday morning. Thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> so we're playing, um, Icarus. We're in beta weekend six right now. And, um, I'm almost, I'm working on finishing up the last of it. We're playing, I don't know if you're familiar with Icarus or not. Um, 
But we scanned these two locations. We have one more to scan. Cliche phrase, but you do you. I mean, yeah, 100%. I mean, if, if I'm not being authentic to myself, then I'm not giving you guys anything. And uh, I can't sustain it. Let's see. I think everything's good right here. So, yeah, we have we have one more thing to, to scan. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't get to the mutant time. I'm coughing over here still. Uh, that's honestly what attracts people. <clears throat> Sincerity is important in uh, any public presentation. For me, it's Sunday afternoon. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm interested in this game. Uh, You're the best channel so far for learning this game. Wow, thank you. It's 6 a.m. Sunday for me. This is the cool thing about um, being a... I hate using the con the word content creator. This is the, this is the thing I love about having a YouTube channel is we can hang out with people all around the world at different time zones and different times and just have fun, right? So, um this is a this is beta weekend 6. They changed quite a bit of quite a few things. Previously in the previous uh beta weekends, we couldn't we could only do one mission and one mission only and then it was like that was it. And then the beta weekend was over and you had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to get it uh, accomplished this time they're doing it a little bit differently because they're releasing the game if you're unaware they're releasing the game Sunday 2 2 30 p.m. <laughs> uh, they're releasing the game early December now uh, I think is what the newest update is <clears throat> um, so they have made it so we can do this this uh, I keep calling it a quest this objective this mission we can go back and we do more missions it's 12 p.m. for me. Wow, okay. So we have one more scan to do. This scan was a bear. I died to said bear. This scan was a storm. We did pretty good. Now this scan down here, I have no idea. But I wanted to come back here. We need to drink some water. I wanted to come back here and kind of regroup real quick. That is not what I tried to do. Come over here. Zero. F. Get a parasite. We didn't. Nailed it. Refill our water. I want to check our, um... Okay. No, no, everything's fine. I want to check our oxygen as well. How are we doing here? <laughs> We're empty. So we can take this full one. We can stick this one back. And that's just going to refill the oxygen. Good to go. So anyway, it's really cool that this beta weekend 6, they're allowing us to do multiple uh, missions. So really, really neat. So we can finish this one, which we only have one more scan. And then tonight, um, <clears throat> oh man, I don't know. I guess Sunday night for me would be like Monday morning for you guys. Is that, is that right? Yeah, it's good to make friends with people all over the world. I agree. I agree. It may be randomized, but third location was another storm for me. Oh, good to know. Okay. Are the bears broken in this game? I mean, he wrecked my face quick. So, uh, it was at night. I made, the, I made the mistake of starting the scan at night, so I couldn't really see. The bear chased me to a cliff edge. I was falling down the cliff, trying to stab him with a, a bow. Uh, if unprepared or surprised, bears will wreck your face. The, nailed it. Yeah, I was unprepared and I was surprised. <laughs> so, it wrecked my face. Um, okay, so we need to go ahead and eat. So this is pretty cool, you guys. I really didn't expect to get into these missions. Um, I was really planning on, like, building stone structures. So it's really cool that we're actually getting into the mission. We need to make, uh, what did we lose last time? I didn't bring the, we need stone. I didn't bring the, uh, the campfire with me. So we need to go ahead and make another campfire to bring with us. And we need to make a bedroll. Which we can actually make. That way we can set the spawn point there. Nailed it. We have four floors. So two floors, two ceilings. That we have... The walls. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. We're not going to use that right now. Spoiled meat. I think that's uh, used for recipe later on. Oh, that's right. We have the iron too. Mm, we're just going to stick that here. We're actually not even going to use it right now. Go ahead and put the hide. Leather. Uh, that is the wrong chest. Okay, perfect. Nailed it. 
Sticks go up here. Can you squeeze in there? Yep. Let's go ahead and uh, cook this up before it all spoils. I think the uh, spoil timer resets once it cooks. I think. <clears throat> Hello, the bear, the bear wrecked you. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that they were too strong. Um, I've, I've seen two bears and I've died to two bears. And both times they came up on me like I had no idea. The first time my eyes were on the the uh, the panther, like two beta weekends ago, I was looking at the uh, down satellite and I was looking at the panther that spawned there, and I was like, "Where's this guy at?" And the bear side blinded me, so I didn't even know he was there. He got me pretty quick. And then this one, the announcer just came on. He goes, "Looks like you got company." And all of a sudden there was a bear, and all of a sudden I was dead. Bedroom campfire. <clears throat> Dude, I will light my place on fire. Uh, know if it's a good challenge or an unbalanced mechanic. Fairly balanced and improving. I would agree with that. It, it's pretty balanced. Dozens of bears in the second one. So my experience, I don't know if it's like per beta weekend or not, but my experience was I came in on beta weekend four. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was four. And I didn't ever see a wolf. I didn't see a bear. We just kind of like peacefully um, just kind of existed. There were deer everywhere. The, the last one, I found a bear only because I went to the down satellite and it triggered it. Or I was in the mountain region over there and a bear spawned when I was looking at the panther. So I don't know if like and this one, wolves have been showing up at my doorstep, so I don't know if it's if it's like the beta weekend or if it's location on the map. <clears throat> but I feel like it's been uh, gradually getting, like, increasing in difficulty, but in a really good way. It hasn't been unfair at all. Uh, I don't own the game, so I don't know any beta weekends. So basically, the game hasn't been released yet. It's going to release early December, and every was it every two weeks, from a Friday to a Monday, they allow you to play it if you pre-order the game. I think I bought it at like twenty six dollars or something like that, uh, USD. And if you if you pre-purchase it, then you can play it during the beta weekends. A beta is just like it starts on Friday and it ends on Monday. They they actually close their servers off. You can't access it, so you can't access it like Tuesday through. I guess two weeks, like in a two week increment. So you only have a limited amount of time to play right now when they release it finally. Beginning of December, then I think that's kind of what I'm curious about is to see like what all they change in it. If if you can just play back to back missions all the time, but each mission, if you see on the top right, or not the top right, the top center of the screen, there's a timer there. Every mission can be like 30 minutes. It can be a couple days. Every mission will have like a, <coughs> excuse me, It'll have like a different time, allotted time for you to complete the task. So far, the beta weekends have just been like the same uh, amount of time. So let's say we have a bedroll. We can set our spawn now. That's good. We can have campfires so we can actually sleep if we need to. We have building materials. Um, <clears throat> let's free up our inventory just a little bit. Stick that back in there. Stick these bad boys back in here. Um, does our... Do our weapons need repairing? No. Do we have enough arrows? On 100% we do. We have enough oxygen. Let's actually go ahead and stick the oxygen on our person so it helps us. Consume this. Get our little buff going on. And let's go, Let's just start heading out. Let's, um... That's probably this way, right? It's, uh... Ooh, ooh, it's southwest. So it's this way. Uh, last weekend, hyenas were very powerful. Unfortunately, I didn't make it into the, uh, the, f not the forest, the, uh, desert last weekend. I've had something going on every single weekend. Getting late. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Sleep before. I was going to put the bed down, but you're right, I should sleep. <clears throat> yeah, it's 17 o'clock. I say 17 o'clock. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, there we go. We got 95 wood in there. We have enough. Yeah, um, I've had things going on. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. Yawning. I've had things going on. Uh, in my in in real life IRL, <clears throat> um, so I haven't been able to take full advantage of every beta weekend, but um, this one I am. And it's gonna be really cool, like I said, to see um, <clears throat> what what they do, what happens when they actually release it live. Seventeen hundred. I love that planet. <clears throat> wow. Let's go and activate that. A large deer. We still need to be working it. Because I died to the bear, also, you get... <laughs> 39? Oh, dude, I hit him! Uh, they did add a bleed-out mechanic as well. We can now track their blood. I don't really know how. I think you just go up to it and you F on it. That's him right there anyway. Be great if this hand icon was off my screen. We got him anyway. Um, here he is. Oh, you can see my arrow tip sticking out. <laughs> nice. Yeah, they added some kind of uh, <clears throat> flare, uh, uh, animal tracking. Dude, look at this guy's leg. Dude, I wrecked this guy. My gosh. I feel kind of bad right now. We don't need this because we're not making any... Uh, we're not making any bread. Have you ever tried flare or flame arrows? <clears throat> In uh, in Icarus. Hold on, let's let's get in here. I'm gonna check it. Of course, I left my campfire going. Uh, dude, I didn't even know that was a thing. I guess I hadn't paid attention to the arrows. Dude, yeah, look. Gunpowder, stone arrow and gunpowder, sulfur. Oh, that's not that bad. Uh, projects your position into the sky. That's cool. That would be really helpful for uh, multiplayer. I haven't tried these. No. Poison arrow. Are these like the uh, trank darts in Ark? <laughs> uh, bone arrow. That's plus 10 critical damage. 20 projectile. 50? Oh, break chance. Oh. And that's 20%. So the bone arrows are a little bit better. We do have a lot of bone. <clears throat> uh, do you play multiplayer with any friends in this game? Not yet. I want to get a server going. I want to I want to play with people after it officially launches. Go ahead and sleep right now. Perfect. Definitely, definitely, definitely something I want to get into. Uh, but I haven't done it yet, and I've seen other people, I've seen other YouTubers do it, and it's really cool, because you can see your friends come in, you can see their drop pods come in. It's really cool, and um, I can imagine the resource gathering and everything is, like, legit, because <clears throat> it's, um, we're good. It's, it's like, it's a thing. Playing solo, the grind is real. And they also added this new little icon down here. I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh, so it lights up when we run. When we sprint, it goes all the way at top. So I'm wondering if that's like the higher this gets, and we give, if it gets up here, we start consuming more. I wonder. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's keep heading southwest. Get this place. <clears throat> um. Can I keep our head on a swivel here? This is new territory for us. I, 
think I said it earlier too. I don't know if this map changes. Hmm. Huh. The numbers, everything's kind of different on it. I can't remember what numbers we've been in previously. I think we're up here. Yeah, but the first map was, uh, he said, the developer says hand authored, which I really like. Oh, you know what? Oh, we have bone. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Um, I'm kind of hoping we can find a cave right up here. We can get in and out of the storm. Is this a cave right here? Dude, this is perfect. Both, uh oh, both times we've been out during a storm, <laughs> there's been a cave close by. I think we're far enough in. Uh, so let's see. I'm thinking of buying this game for Christmas. Yeah, um, I I'm loving it. I'm having a blast with it. I love this game. I'm so interested. So curious and so excited to see what the gameplay is like after it's fully released. I kind of said this through the whole stream, the whole stream, but uh, if you've watched the trailer, they show like vehicles. So there's going to be vehicles here. And I was kind of thinking they would add that by now um, for us to play around with. And it, I don't know how that would actually work. I think there was a dune buggy or something like or some kind of buggy in the trailer, but getting over this train, some of this train in a buggy might be kind of difficult. Flare arrows, spread light, uh, to an insane, insane amount. Oh, that's, that's good to know. So I could shoot one in like a cave and it would like light it up. That's really cool. As long as I don't shoot it in the, uh, in the water. I'm excited for the uh, mid to late game. Betas have only de demonstrated early game. Yeah, yeah, like there's there's a lot of things. If you watch the trailer, it's packed with stuff that we haven't seen yet. We've kind of seen the same thing. I think it's really just been some uh, some testing for the developer. But um, the gameplay, there's going to be a lot. <clears throat> I'm really excited to see what it is. I don't know if it's going to like officially release, like launch, and we're like, what game even is this like if we're gonna recognize it or if uh if he's gonna like trickle out content over time vehicles sound good yeah i think there's like motorbikes like motorcycles and then dune buggies i think from what i've seen dude we just got <laughs> we just got pneumonia from being in a cave so maybe it wasn't that fortuitous that we found the cave it's either death by storm or fluid lung Uh, what kind of house uh, houses can you build? You can build these things as a team. Yes, you can. Uh, so it does have multiplayer capabilities. So you can play with friends, and then you can build. There's. Uh, let's just look real quick while the storm's going on. The building materials. You start off with thatch, kind of like arc. You start with a uh, hierarchy, weakest to strongest. So thatch you start off with, <clears throat> and you unlock that by unlocking the beam, and it unlocks all these things. So you do have roofs. You have slanted roofs. The only thing I haven't seen really is, like, um, you've got these corner roofs, but I haven't seen any corner foundations, which actually, let's test that real quick, because there are different variations. I hope this is answering your question. Um, let's just place this down real quick, because we can always pick these up. Right there, nine, and if we come here, um... You can hold R. If you see left mouse button places it, R rotates it, and then if you hold R, it's variance. <clears throat> okay, so this one, this one doesn't. I was going to say, I haven't seen any, like, like, you know, in Conan Exiles, you got that slanted, or yeah, I guess even in Arc too, you got that slanted, uh, floor, or the corner floor. What am I trying to say? It's not all squares. You can do, like, hexagons and that kind of stuff. I haven't seen that just yet here, but you can build... I mean, you can build two-story, three-story. You can build thatch all the way up to... What I've seen, you can build all the way up to stone, which is actually a tier... 
it's two, so it's required that you're level ten. There's there's reinforced wood, and then there's stone. <clears throat> there's also different armors as well. So yeah, you can build. I mean, you can do some really cool layouts. And then if we get into level twenty, look at this. There's even a, there's aluminum door. So you can build aluminum too. So you can make yourself a tuna can, I guess. Someday I would love to to make this armor, the composite armor. Dude, it looks so cool. <laughs> if it had like thruster capability, like jetpack stuff, that would be just epic. <clears throat> Um, I haven't seen slanted blocks. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, as an option. Yeah, uh, you, I'm answering, I am answering your question. Good. You can have as big a house as you can make. As far as I, as far as I know, it's not like Minecraft where there's like a build limit up. And I don't think there's a build limit in proximity. Now, the cool thing is, you do have to kind of structure it out. Like, if you notice, I placed down, uh, this beam. If you don't have a good foundation, just like really anything in life. If you don't have a good foundation, it'll start to crack. So I can demonstrate that here. If we build this out, good, the storm's over. So check this out. We can put down two two floors, right? With one with one beam. But then if I start building these walls, they look fine, right? But then if I start adding onto this the weight of it. Uh, it's not doing it right now. <laughs> they'll, they have started to crack. And they'll crack and you have to put another support beam right there. And you can hit Y. If you hit Y at it, it just puts it all back in your inventory and you don't lose a thing. <clears throat> but anyway, structural integrity is a thing in the game. So, um, it, you're limited to your building by your structural integrity and how much time you have in the mission. So some missions I've heard are going to be really short. So you may you may not have time for um, oh there you may not have time for like these really big builds in some of the missions. While other missions, dude, that was freaking epic. Other missions you may have like all the time to build like this huge just Costco or whatever food warehouse you guys have near you, like a big old um, retail space. So we're kind of heading the right way. We need to come over this way. Uh, you can build as big as you feel like gathering materials for it. Yeah, perfectly said. Uh, the pleasant surprise is a few minutes away. Please keep an eye on the mountains and distance. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Another planet. My favorite planet is this one. It's... And it's really hard to see during the day, and on some under under certain weather conditions, um, <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's the simple things in games that just blow me away. Wow. Okay, we're we're still going. I don't know if that's what you're talking about now, but that's blowing my mind right there. Um, we need, our, our stamina is a little low. We need to go ahead and stack our food. <clears throat> we still have pneumonia. Oh, that may be why. Um, so I think we need to circle around this mountain. We're almost done, you guys. Wow, another four hour stream. It's going to be like a four and a half hour stream by the time we get done with it. Oh, yeah. If you got the stamina for it, which I had pneumonia, of course, um, the knife is a lot faster. <clears throat> Wasn't talking about the planet. <laughs> the planet blew me away. Okay, the wolves are real. You'll know it when you see it without question. Okay. All right. 
Dude, the, I mean, just the mountains alone are beautiful. Okay, my stamina is, uh, there's a serious issue right now. Dude, what is this? I should be looking for bears and wolves, but I'm looking at the scenery. Whoa. Uh, do we know what the middle game housing materials will be? I think right now it's stone. Because tier 1 you start with. Tier 2 comes when you're level 10. Oh good, we got rid of my... Uh, my... Penalty. What are you? A deer. Okay. So it starts with thatch, wood, and then, uh, and then stone. So I think stone is mid-tier. Technically. I mean, it's kind of high tier. Look at this! Whoa! Oh my god! Is this what you're talking about? Because this is crazy! Dude! Uh. <laughs> the planet up there. This is crazy cool. We got our little Lion King. Little cliff right here. Wow. Uh, I want to build a castle with my community if I buy this game. You can. Um... <clears throat> I think, let me show you this real quick, because this is really cool. Um, hold on, we need some water. If I grab this foundation and place it right here, and I grab this wall. So same thing as I was showing you earlier, if you hold down R, <clears throat> you get all these different variations. You can do a... Uh, you can do a window, you can do a door, you can do halvesies, door. So you can do a double door, like a French door. You can do these uh, double windows, and you can actually build shutters to put on these windows as well. I was checking to see real quick if they had like half walls. You could do like the, the top of the castle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it doesn't look like they have half walls right now. That wasn't it, really? This is, this is insane. That view is crazy cool. All right. <clears throat> We're coming up on it here. Probably get out our... Let's go ahead and get out our bow and arrow. We seem to be doing really good with that. Is this it? Really should be shooting that deer just to gain the XP. You know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been looking at for any uh, caves. Oh, we're getting close, you guys. We're getting really close. A rabbit and a deer. <sighs> Leveled up. Um... I kind of just want my... My arrow back. And we don't need it. We got freaking... We're like... Ridiculous amount of arrows. <coughs> the view is amazing. Right? It is. Would be good to build a, a house there. And that's kind of cool thing. You could build a house anywhere. You could build one off the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, good. You c Whoa. You can build a house off the side of a cliff if you want to. Look at this mountain, you guys. Look at this. This is crazy cool. I, I kind of feel like we're Yeah, we're we're here. We're we're very very close. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't experienced any of the other biomes yet. 
I wasn't too excited about the Arctic because we know I know we'd have to craft like different armor for it. Um, <clears throat> but um, dude, look at this clearing. But the desert, I had really wanted to see. Okay, so what's up here? <coughs> Excuse me. It's probably up on top of this thing, if I had to guess. Graphics are great. <coughs> okay, um... It's here. So, G... Um, looking for a ghost. Here it is, right here. It's right here in front of my face. Right there. Okay, so now if, um, let's go ahead and get things set up right here. Four, so if we hit six, <clears throat> right there. I like how it automatically, like, like, snaps them to what a uh, foundation width would be. And then we come here to seven. We can go right there. Six. Dude, this is it, you guys. We're going to scan this last one. Right there. Um, and then... And then that's it. We, we did it. We actually completed successfully for once. Put our bed down. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Oh, requires shelter. Okay. I'm not forgetting a door this time. <laughs> Wait. What? Did you guys see that? What was that? There we go. Seven. And then now we should be able to hold to set spawn point. Perfect. Why to take this thing down? <clears throat> Let's go ahead and place our campfire here. Another thing is you have to have a lit campfire uh, near your bed in order to sleep. Somehow I missed it. No! But there's a, a giant cascading multi-leveled waterfall. <gasps> Are you serious? I missed that, dude. I would love to see that. Uh, I'm going to have to check it out on the way back because 100% I want to see that. Oh, that sounds epic. <clears throat> um, On one of the mountains. Okay, we're uh, don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to look at it. It was more to the north. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go back in there and check it out after this. Um, is there a hydroelectric in this game for a waterfall? <coughs> Excuse me. Not that I know of. There is... Um, let's go ahead. Let's, let's just start this thing. Uh, it's 12. Yeah. I think there's maybe a storm. There's, um, there, there is power in the game. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm not even going to put the, uh, the door on this thing just yet because he's going to say, There's been a problem. Tier three. I think I remember seeing like Something happened power solutions. Radar. We lost the signal. You gotta reactivate. That's it. fine. Storm. Fifty percent done. Oh, we can make glass stuff too. That's really cool too. Carbon. I got this carbon outfit. You do have a, a hunting rifle. A bolt action rifle and sh something happened to the radar. Shotgun. We lost the signal. That's fine, dude. You gotta reactivate. All right, bro. Seventy. I don't want to say anything because I don't want to jinx it. Ninety-eight. One hundred percent. Scan three. You guys. 
Nice work. Thanks. Excellent work, friend. Legos groups got their data. He said Legos groups? Well, we know a little more about this place than I'm waiting did. for you guys. I'm waiting for something to pop Still out. A damn mystery. But you got to start somewhere. See you in orbit. All right, see you in orbit, boss. Boss man, whoever you are. Let's look real quick. <clears throat> I'm waiting for something to come out and wreck my face. There are <coughs> Excuse me. Electronics. Electronic furnace. We can make a radar. Uh, cement mixer. I, th I thought there was... Oh, recurve bow. That's cool. I don't think I've made it to level 20 yet. In all of my playthroughs. We have a flashlight. A fabricator. Titanium, so that's like end game stuff. Actually, I didn't. I don't see any power right off the bat. Maybe I missed it. Uh, but I don't think there's. I don't think there's hydro power here. Let's see. My bedroll, hold X to pick up. Let's go check out that waterfall because I really want to see it. And then we're gonna jump on the, um, the pod. Is that everything? I think that's everything. And then GTFO. Alright, so we're coming back this way. <clears throat> I can't believe I missed the waterfall. I really want to see that. We're going to find it. Okay, is there something that's going to like come and wreck my face like... On my way back. So north side. So is it over? Is it like in this direction? <clears throat> Stay north. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. All right. Or along this ridge on the way back. You got it. Dude, these mountains are awesome. <clears throat> Mission complete. That feels so good, you guys. This I think I just said it. This is the first time I've actually completed anything. Oh, we're going. Okay, no, 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 no. We need to. Is this? Dude, that goes up in the snow. So we need to stay along this ridge. <coughs> Get my stamina back. Okay, we are out of water. Just about. We got just a little bit left. Like, this is the way I came, right? Yeah. This view, though, man. Oh, God. <laughs> and that planet. You can barely see it up there. It's so cool. All right, I want to come around this way. <coughs> This is where the vehicle would come in so handy. Right? Just... Yeah, that planet. Gosh. I 
can't tell if it's wind or if I'm hearing water. Alright, so we gotta come through this pass. Okay, so I think we're still on track. This is absolutely stunning, though, you guys. Like, what a beautiful game. Thoroughly enjoying it. The waterfall isn't small. Okay. I, I don't know how I missed it. <coughs> I mean, I guess I'm not surprised I missed it. Dude. Oh, really? Three? Oops. <laughs> oh. Dude. Uh, you can keep my arrow. You can keep everything. I don't even care. I feel like a large waterfall would be something that, uh, I don't know, I, I, I can't really say that. Sometimes I miss the most obvious things. It sounds right up my alley. It sounds like something I would stand there and just spend a long time IRL looking at. <laughs> you know what, it's probably, it's probably right here where the water is, right? Let's go check it out. Yeah, I think it's right up around here. At least this is where the water is. <clears throat> and I can't tell if I'm hearing wind or falling water. Either way, I'm loving it. Uh, let's see, where are my vitals? My vitals are good. Temperature's good. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm here in water. Oh, right here. <gasps> here, here it is, here it is. Is this it? This is it, right? Dude, hold on, hold on. Whoa. Whoa. That's it. That's gotta be it. Look at that. Wow, look at this. This is it. I know that. Dude. You said multi-level. I was thinking like two levels. No. Oh, oh. oh this is epic. Wow. I love I love this. This is so cool. Hold on, we can come over here. <coughs> I'm so glad you said something. I would have totally missed. I mean, I did. I did miss this.
that is crazy cool. Nothing behind it. You know, we have to check. Oh, that is just crazy cool. Hold on. I want to see, I want to see like every angle of this thing. I wish I could get up to it. I don't, maybe we can over here. No, this is definitely worth like setting up a little house around here and living near this thing and falling to sleep with the natural sound of the water. Sign me up. No, it doesn't look like we can get up to it. We could probably build up to it. If we built like uh, stairs or something. Oh, how cool would that be? If we had like a, a, a room over there and a walkway going across. And then we had like a tower on this side. With the, like a little uh, a deck that came out that came down the stairway. Oh, man. <clears throat> I first saw it uh, from far away on a high ridge. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how I missed this thing. I think I was too concerned about uh, wolves and bears. Oh, my. That is beautiful. Is there a... Um, actually, I actually haven't looked yet. Borderless... Um... Gameplay. I don't think there's controls to hide the UI or the the heads up display, the HUD. Breaking the fourth wall here, guys. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like there is. That'd be really cool. I could I could like Photoshop stuff out of there. That is awesome. Thank you for pointing that out. Thanks for not letting me miss that. That's the coolest thing I've seen in Icarus so far. Like, the, the planet? <laughs> that stupid planet right there. That blows me away every time I see it. And now, this. It's uh, it's located over here in K-12. I don't know if they're going to change this, if they're ever going to update it, like if, uh, if the letters and numbers change. But K-12. Southern region of K- oh. oh, I thought that was a storm warning. That is epic. Like, seriously. And we're not that far from it, either. <laughs> no way! We can hide UI with nine? Oh, 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 God. Dude, these wolves, though. Oh, <laughs> No way. No way. Nine. Dude, I just learned something new, too. Hold on. Was it six? No, it was four. There we go. Look at that. Uh... There it goes. I was like, is it not working? No, it's working. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't showing me it was working there. It was screenshots. Dude. Mm. Okay. <laughs> you guys get to see some screenshots here. Um, I know where it's at. I can come back to it. That is incredible. Awesome. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing me that. It's definitely thumbnail material. Um, I already have the thumbnail for this stream, but definitely worth knowing it's there. Really, dude? Wait, three? If I die to this freaking wolf right now, dude, freaking out of stamina? Are you kidding me? A level freaking seven wolf? Get, dude. That was embarrassing. <clears throat> I've got waterfall on my mind.
Disrespect. Okay. All right. We're good. You want to go, bro? All right. So let's make it back. Straight this way. Uh, let's see. Waterfall looks like a good place for a house. Yes. It looks like the perfect place for a house. So, if they don't change it, K-12 on the map. Uh, does it get struck by lightning? Yes, the house will get struck by lightning. Now, if it's thatch, wind will blow it over. you got to repair it constantly and rebuild it constantly. If it's wood, you saw it. It will um, take damage. Look how close we are to it. Dude, we're so close. If it's wood, it will take wind damage, and it will catch fire, so lightning will strike and will catch fire to your base. If it's stone, it takes no wind damage. <laughs> That's right. My dominance. Um, can we see it over here? Yeah, we can. It's right there. Stone. Um, I, I think lightning can hit it. But I don't think lightning really damages it. It won't catch fire. Now, if you build a, a wood floor inside of your stone, build, then that stone... Anything wood can burn. <clears throat> so if we... Um, so here's a stone frame. So if you build this with your bottom floor, then you don't you don't need to worry about that. If you build this with your bottom floor, or this one with your bottom floor, you don't need to worry about that burning either. But if you build this one, then you do. I mean, logically. Um, can you build a lightning rod? Not to my knowledge. No. You guys, I can't even believe we did it. Check out the left side of the screen. Scan mission. Complete. We did it. Started here, died by a bear, came up here, scanned it, um, survived a storm. <coughs> Excuse me. This um, N10 is where the uh, water is with this big rock. So directly across from this rock right there is the underwater cave with the iron in it. We came all the way down here. Right here, K12, is the most epic waterfall. That's that's within eyesight of our base. We came all the way down here through this little uh, opening and scanned down here with no problems whatsoever. We made it back. I can't even believe it. Um, so that's it. We actually don't have anything to bring with us on this one. Um, I don't know how inventory works from this point moving forward because Beta Weekend 4 and Beta Weekend 5, we can't... You, you serious? You want to go, dude? We kept our... Oh, he turned. He pivoted. Pivot. Get owned. Uh, we... Dude, that, that planet. We kept our levels, but we lost our inventory between Beta Weekend 4 and 5. This one, Beta Weekend 6, we started all the way over at level 0, and we had nothing. So it was like creating a character for the first time. I actually had to name him. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and let's go on and go on up. I think we're done here. Press F to interact. Um, are you ready to leave? You can return to station. So the story of the game, in case you don't know, we work for uh, T E A R. That's what this is. I, don't, I actually don't know the company we work for, but um, during full release, you'll have limited inventory that you can take back. Yeah, I I think I remember hearing that. Um. And why we're not sent down here in the first place with some kind of multi-tool <laughs> or taser or laser or phaser or something. I don't really know. Um, I see if there's one more wolf that wants to get wrecked. I could have sworn I heard one. Maybe not. <clears throat> so anyway. We work for a big company. Uh, during beta, you can't take anything, right? We work for a company. We, we our, our jobs are to come down here and do these missions. This one was a scanning. But essentially, it's coming down here and gathering materials and uh, gathering information to then take back up to the space station, wherever it is, and then uh, give it back to our bosses so they can then, I don't know, I guess trade the information, sell it, and uh, sell the materials. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah.
So let's just go ahead and interact. We are going to leave. We're going to lose all this stuff. No problem. We didn't buy. We didn't build anything huge anyway. They haven't released the story yet, but uh, but I'm suspecting the players are either paying off a debt or prisoners. That would that makes a lot of sense, actually. Um, because we are quote employed and we are set down sent down here to do missions. So let's go ahead and return <clears throat> back. Here you go. You get to see the animation of the spaceship or the pod the pod I didn't show it oh <laughs> I could have sworn they showed that um, <clears throat> so, let's see, if we quit the desktop, that's not, oh, back, here we go, if we go back, so we're connected, <clears throat> it's not showing me the Prospects. If I remove from prospect, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Select character. Here we go. Here, here's where it is. So, um, completed prospects. I've only completed one. So here's where you can join. Uh, enter an existing contract. Join a session. A new prospect. This is what I do. Host a session. Looks like outposts are going to be a thing. And then quick play. I'm very curious about what all these do at the very end. Uh, like once they release it all. Uh, we can see the talents and tech tree here. So it looks like it did save from our our uh, game that we just had. Tech tree right here. I don't think... Uh, we have points, but we can't spend them here, it doesn't look like. Yeah. So you actually, you actually have to be in-game there. Inventory is not clickable. Loadout and workshop. So these are things that are all about to come. Looks like some kind of in-game currency as well. <clears throat> Character selection. Congrats on the first successful mission. Thank you. <coughs> so this is me. This is what I look like game in game not real life do not operate oh so anyway you guys oh wow end the stream with a big yawn um it is 1 25 a.m for me um and i'm gonna wake up tomorrow or in a couple hours and make a big breakfast and do the whole weekend thing with my family so I'm going to leave it here and uh, leave you guys with it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I had a blast with you guys. Good talks. Lots of fun. We had some deaths. We had some excitement. We saw some beautiful sights. Um, it lurch. Oh my gosh, that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> what was I saying? Yeah, we saw a lot of cool things. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. <clears throat> I never know how to sign off or, or start a live stream. But, uh, it means, a, it means a lot to me. You guys were here. Have a great the rest of your weekend. And then I will see you guys in the, the upcoming Star Citizen videos. You rewatch my stream. Thank you. And then, um, also, if you guys haven't yet, I think the link to my Discord is in the description. You guys can, uh, can, uh, join there. If you want to. No pressure. No pressure at all. Um, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. You guys, thank you again from, from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate you guys being here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is the Goodish Gamer <clears throat> signing out.